at jurymaker.com. Or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. We all know you need the right tools for the job, so here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewelry Maker hobby. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewelry Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one P&P. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, hello and welcome to today, Monday's Jewelry Maker. Normally Mondays are a bad thing, but not today, my darlings, because I am joined by the wonderful Sir Marky McBarky. Hello, Marky McBarky. <laughs> we were trying to work out with the last time we worked together. It was I, like forever ago. It was a long time ago, wasn't it? I'm so it glad we're back, we're back so together today. It's going to be a good day today. Good we're going to have a wonderful day. We've got a brand new toolkit coming up for you. The door's all zebra-y and snazzy. Zebra-y is an actual. Do you know, now there is an outrage going on out there in the news world today. I don't know if you've heard this, Mark. Mr. Darcy, if you are I know, a, yes, oh, yes. If you are a uh, Bridget Jones fan, Mr. Darcy mm. is dead. I can't, no. I can't handle that in my brain. Can you? <laughs> I can't live with that. I don't do you think? Do you think Hugh Grant will be back on the scene? Oh, of course. Yeah. I mean, we always love a bit of Hugh, don't we? Now, so we are a bit outraged about that. To make up for that, to make up for Mr. Darcy's death, which I really can't come to terms with, we have got this for you. It doesn't. Does it make up for it? No, but it does make. It does make life a little bit better. It does, doesn't it? I've got for you Russian diopside today. I have got for you a deluxe gem tube with tanzanite and emerald. But right now, my darling Monday morning jewellery makers, we are going to give you a ridiculous amount of chain. So much chain, I'm going to hand some of it to Mark and we're going to go for a little walk with it. Okay. Now, th these are the bigger links. You've seen two other pre pre previous previous chains, we've seen lots of previous chains, um, <laughs> but these are the big links, because it's Monday, we're going to go large, so I'm going to give you 10 metres, just to give you an idea of how much 10 metres actually is, Marky McBarky, I'm going to just give you this end okay. of chain, and we're going to walk it around studio, I mean you've got absolutely loads, now Mark, a metre of chain, now this is a bit tangly wangly, a meter of chain goes ever such a long way. You've had the four by three, you've had the three by four. This is five by three, so these are the bigger links. Well, we know by, by the, the meter of chain that we get in our in our on our jewelry kits. I mean, that goes a hell of a long way, doesn't it? It goes an awful so long way. So to have um, ten meters, we're not going to be able to do this, are we? Yeah, you've got to go foot walk, rainbow <laughs> wall of fame. Okay. I'm going to give you the tangly end because you're much better at untangling okay. than me. Should we do like Lady in the Tramp? 
Well, and you the take spaghetti. one end, and I do, except this isn't <laughs> spaghetti, and we may choke. We may. So, in fact, let's not do that at all. Now, you have got this is just half of it. You have got 10 metres of chain. We are going to give you an early bird price tag. Wait, look, Mark, <laughs> I've tangled it up. It, these are the larger links, so they are not the same as the previous two chains that you've seen. These are the larger links. Mark, Hannah Roxbury's up there like, what are you doing? We're unlinking <laughs> chain. Look at it, there's loads now. Have you ever bought one of our reels of chain where there are reels? Where's he gone? He's all the way over there. Where there are reels and reels and reels. You all right there, Mark? Should we put yes. a little cup on the end so we can have a little conversation like the old fashioned telephones? Now, make sure you are on the phone lines this morning. It's Monday, of course, you want to get involved with us here at Jewelry Maker because you know what? It's a bit drab and dreary out there, isn't it? And with this chain, you know, Mark, you could wrap this around your Christmas tree. Although you could. I do, you actually, could. I don't want to do that. I want to make jewelry out of it. There is so much, and it's always a good idea to have as much in your stash as you can. If you're making lots and lots of pendants, you need loads and loads of chain. How many of you are doing your polymer clay pendants? How many of you are doing your wire wrap pendants? Have you bought individual links that you're wrapping, 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 and looping, looping, looping? Do you want to do your bubble bracelets? I've got the chain for you. We don't have uber amounts. These are the larger link chains, yet we're going to match the price of the others. Mark's still working away there, unraveling. 11 95 I reckon you can get all the way to the window over there, Marky. Oh, easily. 11 pounds. Easily. Easily. Now, Mark, tell me what are you going to do with this chain? I am going to do multiple stranded charm bracelets, I think. I think that's the best thing to do. Well, and you can afford to, well, can't absolutely, you? Absolutely, absolutely. You can afford to do those long necklaces where you've got chain, 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 getting smaller, all the way up. Chain, chain, chain. Come on, Cassie, sing chain, chain, chain for me. <laughs> Come closer to us and sing chain, chain, chain all the way until these are all gone. You do, just chain, chain, chain is fine. Chain, chain, chain. This is how we start Mondays. Chain of fools. <laughs> it sounded good though. See, she, I think we should get Cassie singing all day today because it's Monday and because is it the last day of September? Yeah. It's October. Yep. October. Oct. Like eight, except it's not the eighth month. No, it's the tenth. Which tenth. confuses us. <laughs> 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 Isn't it mad? So it's going to be Christmas soon. I hope to goodness you are well on your way to doing your Christmas uh, pieces. Now, Mark, you are doing lots of Christmas fairs at the moment. Are things selling out left, right and centre? Are you having to replenish? Are you a bit panicking now? Well, pe people are still browsing at the moment. People are still browsing and they're coming in with lists and they're ticking things off and asking for specific pieces to be made. So it's really nice. But, but November will, will be when it'll really start. start so now, now, off. now, yeah. you've got to keep on top of things Absolutely. now. Because if you let it slip, then you're not going to keep up, are you, Marky? No, 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 no. Look, he's getting further getting away there. from me. It's the effect I have on most men, by the way. <laughs> £11.95, there's one of two ways in which you can come and grab these. Do you like my earrings? You can get them later on. Mark's kit is amazing today. 800 655 on the phone lines. Hey, up. <laughs> there's so much of this chain. You can get involved on the web you latte this morning. It's jewelrymaker.com. 11.95 sees you with 10 meters of chain. That is loads and loads and loads for your collections, whether you're going to really ravel it up, like Mark said, make lots and lots of charm bracelets out of this. You'll be gl glad to know, Mark, that we're doing gold chain after this. Maybe I should give it to you <laughs> to begin with, yes. rather than ever touch it. Because I do tend to touch things. You know how, um, who was it that touched things and they turned to gold? Midas. Yeah, I'm like the person who touches things and they turn to a great big tangle and a mess. That's me. I just have to look at things and they fall apart, literally. <laughs> That's me. But this is going to last you. It's strong, as we can see. Look at Mark, he's still working away. Still all the way over there. Mark, you can move back, look. Get back. Okay. Get back. Get back. Come on, Ryan. Get back to where you once belong. It's definitely a musical show today. <laughs> now, he's, go on, back, back, back. It's like I'm lunging him. <laughs> walk on, walk on. <laughs> I'm lunging Mark with the chain. 
That's not what you should do with yours, though. Um, now, loads and loads and loads a year, 11 95 He's still got miles to go. I tell you what, we'll do the gold one. <laughs> this time, you can start with it. If you come back towards me, we'll do it in this way. OK. If you come back towards me, then you can get the gold off the thing, because if I touch it, it will turn to mash. <laughs> turn, turn to mash. Now, have you been doing, uh, the whole of Britain seems to be baking a lot or making things with the apples. What have you been making? Give us a text in 60777, James Studio followed by your message. Have you been making, sir? Yes. What have you been making? Well, we've done our Christmas puddings. Oh yeah, you have, I and, might buy um, one of those. And because it was the opening weekend of Strictly, um, some viewers may know that it's tradition in our house that we peel and pickle our shallots. On the, opening week, on the opening weekend of Strictly. So that's what we were doing Saturday night. We, we had tray and knife in hand. Most people drink wine and eat oh, no, cheese no. when they watch Strictly. No, no, no. no. Not Mark. We peel and pickled shallots. onions. Yes. Well, I've been making rhubarb vodka all night. That's what I've been doing. Oh, wow. Cloves, rhubarb, lemon, body, obviously. Don't forget the essential ingredient uh, to, give, to give for Christmas presents. Uh, oh, now, I think idea. we're just going to do the gold now because this is oh, nearly okay. gone. This okay. is nearly gone. Are you ready? I'm not going to touch it, look. Oh, gosh. Find the okay. end. See, this is how it came last time, and then I just... Let me oh, take... look at you. You did that. I nearly it? did it. Ready? Ready? I'm going to let go of that. Again, the larger links this time. See, that's what happened last yeah. time to me. Now, we're going gonna, gonna to show... Have we got another one of these? You want to see, see what the chain looks like, so let's show them. Have a look. So these are the links. It's quite nice not being at our usual stations, it is. isn't it? Yes. Have a look. Not for Ryan. Not for Ryan, it's not. Because Ryan's like, whoa, where's Jenny? What's she doing now? Now, we have got absolutely loads. We're going to get, I'm going to come back over to my desk here. And Mark's going to travel over there. Okay. And I'm going to show you all of this. Thanks, Ry Ry. He's a good egg. Now, Shouldn't the gold be a lot more expensive? Shouldn't it be more expensive? Look how much you've got. I'm going to show you the silver. Yeah, absolutely. Reams and reams of it. You'll get the same in the gold. Loads. I feel like um, I'm on Muppet Christmas Carol, Marley and Marley. Loads and loads of chain. Absolutely perfect for your Christmas designs. Because it's gold, I think it's warmer. What about with your, red, with your reds? And with your greens, your gold is going to look so classic and traditional. Think about the gemstones that you would only put with gold. I like purple and gold together. I also think we have got, and Oliver just said to me, oh, the gold and the chrome dark side, yes. Do you know, it's very Egyptian. That is very Egyptian, isn't it? So Egyptian. How fabulous is that? I think if you've got a striking colour, oh my gosh, look what I've got for you later. Ooh. Mark's still working away unravelling, God loving. Now, I've got loads for you coming up in today's show. <laughs> Be really, really quick. We have got reams and reams, 10 metres of gold on e-coated copper chain for you. For just, hang on a minute, isn't gold more expensive <laughs> than silver? In any, in any place in the world, isn't gold more expensive than silver? Not here, not with Laura Androlios. Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. Ten meters. The larger links. Mark, what are the benefits of having a larger link over a smaller link? Well, especially when I think when you're doing tassels or you're doing charm bracelets, it's nice to put more than one charm in a link if you want a really big, heavy-duty oh. bubble bracelet. As you can, and you can do that bubbles. with these. You can put two or three um, eye pins or head pins suppose, yes. through each of the larger links. They're fantastic. I just think with the, with the larger as well, if you want to make a statement necklace, of mm. course the finer chains are wonderful if you're doing a little bridal piece or something delicate. But for these, they're going to, um, well, of course they're going to be stronger, I, I guess, in a sense. They're going to accommodate more, I guess, in a sense. So this is a great addition to your collection, the code that you need, AEQ Z15. 10 metres, don't you think a metre goes ever such a long way? The metre that you get in your kits, it goes so far, doesn't it? Well, this is 10 metres. It's going to go, obviously, even further. Keep interacting with us today. Let us know what you're going to do with your chain. Now, we're going to leave that one with you. He's, I know. I'll I have know. it. I'll, I'll try and... I'll have it. I'll have it, he says. There you go. 
Now, I'm going to show you our new toolkit. There's something, there is something extra special about these tools. Have a look at what I've got for you. We've got a new jewellery maker label on the front of these, have you noticed? Oh, yes. But that's not, that's not the important thing that's different. Have a look. Of course, they are zebra print, which means I need them. I need them. I need them. This is such a great deal. And do you know what? It's such a great gift. We're going to bring these to you before 10 o'clock. Our brand new toolkit. You need them. It's the foam. These are foam. They've got foam grip. Obviously, over the stainless steel. So they are uber cut. Mark's like, oh, oh, I need these. They're so comfy. So they've got a, an uber comfort grip, which is now a technical term. Now, eleven ninety-five is not the price tag for your new kit. It's the price tag for your chain. Now, I gave you a little sneaky peek of the Russian diopside. If you want something that's going to look striking, then this, my darling jewelry makers, it's for you. Russian diopside. Now, this really is an absolute treat for your collections. Top drilled and absolutely stunning. Russian diopside. I've got so much to tell you about this gemstone. Go and have a little research of it if you like. I've also got peacock pearls. Have a look. Hang on, I've got some kind of cat hair on me. Which is curious because I don't have a cat. Have a look. It might be the pig actually. He's kind of hairy at the moment. Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they beautiful? Cashew pills. Do you know what? You know the chain we've got? Wouldn't it be lovely with one drop pendant? Really elegant, really stunning. I'll keep it up the neckline, Rye, if you don't mind. What a colour. They're just made to be put against the skin, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? Wonderful. Bright blue. Now this one is one that makes me want to go out dancing with girls. Which I haven't done in a long time. Probably a reason for that. Have a look. <laughs> wow. Wow. They're good. I love this. It's kind of like an electric blue, isn't it? Look at the vibrance. Woohoo! I have also got for you. Oh, I've got the most amazing findings coming up for you later. I'm not going to spoil the surprise there, but I've got our deluxe findings. Uh, findings. Our deluxe gem tubes. Now, this is emerald and tanzanite. Wow. Can I just draw your attention to the drop that's here? There's a briolette drop, not just one either, of emerald. Look at, oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Are they all drilled or not? Oh, most of them, not all. Oh, wow. How stunning. A up. Should we do a kit? Should we challenge Mark with an actual kit? Black Beauty. Da 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 you came in early, Ben. Sorry, I always right. peek too soon. <laughs> now, <laughs> oh, I love Black Beauty. I used to watch that, as you can imagine, as a child. <gasps> Black Beauty's on. That and the Waltons. Da -da 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 -da. What do you mean you've never watched mm, the Waltons? No. Good night, John Boy. No? Good night, Mary Ellen. Nothing? Boy. Nothing. Little House on the Prairie? No, I used to hate that, but I used to, you know, you know what? I used to watch it anyway, just to torture myself, just sit there and go, this is rubbish. <laughs> Why didn't I just turn it over? I never would. I do that with Jeremy Kyle. What is this rubbish on the telly? <laughs> Poisoning our minds. But I sat there and I watch it. What is wrong with us? <laughs> do you do that? It's like, I don't oh. know. I, I feel dirty after I've watched it, like when you eat a takeaway. Now, have a look. <laughs> Have a look at what oh. you've got here. Look at, do you know what? Mark, you're gonna really enjoy this kit. Look at the size of these pendants. They're amazing. I would, you know that they need to be put in wire. 
How fabulous. Are you, is Mark allowed to use other bits and pieces? So I can imagine him prong setting these into a ring or something. They'd be wonderful. He's looking at me like, as if I'm going to do that. <laughs> he has the talent, but he lacks the confidence. It's so silly. Now, I have all these wonderful little veins inside these. Aren't they glorious? Look at those colours. Oh, how many of us have lit the fire this weekend? It's that wonderful hot coal. Not you, right? I fire. Oh, well, go outside and build one, lad. <laughs> and you got no, and you got no chimney, huh? No. <laughs> but then what do you do with all your rubbish? With all the... Put it in the bin? Oh yeah, no. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, it's like a burning ember is what I'm saying. Have a look. Brick red. <laughs> we've got fires like everywhere. We've got, we've got a great big fire circle outside, two chimneys. But it is total, but look, do you see how these are like proper hot coals? Or not if you don't have a fire. Brick reds, now this is very autumnal. Very autumnal, isn't it? Stunning, isn't it? Now Mark, you live in Whitney, which is really typical of its lovely, pretty, well it's so pretty in the autumn and winter. Mm. This kit I'm thinking, actually you're gonna find quite easy because you're surrounded by all these wonderful colors, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, no, I'm very lucky. Real colours of nature here. Lovely. Black labradorite. Now these are 14 mil rounds. And I know Mark's always fond of getting great big rounds because you can do so much with them mm. and because we don't often have them. No, that's right. No, I love them. Absolutely. And how many times, Mark, do we say, oh, put this with a black onyx, put that with a black onyx? How many times do we actually have black onyx lately? Not as many as we'd like, but quite gloriously, you get a strand of it in your kit. So you've got four marvellous strands, strands that are making us think of warm winter fires. Apart from Ryan, remember he doesn't have one. And then you're also going to get a 0.25 black wire. Gorgeous. I love it. You're also going to get your findings with this kit. You've got, you've only gone and got 98 of them. I mean, that's loads. You've got eye pins and head pins. You've got your shepherdy hooks. You have got your toggle clasp. You have got your ribbon ends with extenders. You've got your crimp beads, your crimp bead covers, your little flat donuts. And you've got your nautical bolt ring clasp. <laughs> it's very posh to be nautical. FLG <laughs> C58. You get the wire. No, Nate, that's not all of it. You also get your beading material. <laughs> Are you ready? Black beauty. I want some horse inspired pieces actually. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Make me a new pair of spurs. Oh, 0800. I don't use spurs. All your findings as well. Remember, you've got 98, that'll do. 98 findings, they go on and on and on and on. By the way, if you've never shopped with us here at Jewelry Maker, if this is your first purchase, big thumbs up because I always think the kit is the way to go for your first purchase, Mark, isn't it? Because you get not only everything you need to create, you can get, get this home and you've got all these wonderful gemstones. They go together. They've been personally shopped. They've been put together by one of our in-house designers. They come with the findings. They come with the beading materials. Everything. You can build a stretchy straight away. You don't just get your kit. You also get a free tutorial DVD, a free step-by-step -step book, and a magazine with your very first order. All of this for just... 1895. Wow. Now that That's a good start. is a great yeah. starting point for the Oh, and by the way, if you don't love jewellery making, when you buy your first kit, even when you've made your jewellery up, you can send it back and we'll give you a refund. It's madness, is what it is. It's madness. But you know what? We love you. And we're very confident that you're going to fall in love with jewellery making. Everyone I know that has started it. I didn't start here as a jewellery maker. Well, once I started, that was it. Once I realised I could do it, and it mm. is super easy. It's way easier than baking, and I love to bake. Mm. Way easier than so many other crafts out there. 1895. Now, Mark, you've got your kit already, I guess, I have, over there. I have indeed. Please throw some early inspirations, some little hidden nuggets of, of Mark's designer brain, please. Well, I did, on the Late Show, on... I forgot when it was on, I think it was Thursday evening. Yeah. Um, I started making a crochet necklace, but it went wrong. 
it went wrong. But as, our, as us jewelry designers, we have happy accidents. And I used the crocheted beading as the working strand on the macrame bracelet. Oh, did you? And it, I was quite pleased with how it came out. So I'm thinking that 0.25 wire. Let's try it again. With the black onyx, use, and then use the, the larger um, labradorite as the working. And I think that might be a bit special. A well, let's special. do something a bit special today then. Let's yeah. do something different. Okay. And if at first you don't succeed, up you get and get on with mm. it. Okay. <laughs> there is a nicer way of putting that. Dust yourself off and try again, isn't it? In the words of Aaliyah. Now, I'm going to give to you to the left, to the left. Everything you own. I thought Cass was going to finish that, but she never did. She left me hanging. Now, in a box to the left. Now, rose gold. So these are the smaller links. These are lovely, mind. I do love rose gold. Have you seen our new findings, Marky? The, the little um, bezel no. setting? No. Now, I want to show you. Because have you started doing polymer clay yet? No. Mark! Well, I should have started in March, so I'm not that far behind, really. It's October tomorrow, Mark. I know, October. I know, I know. And let's make you do a workshop. Let's do one together. Now, we should do in the workshops just to show you what goes on. Now, you're going to love these, Mark. I'm going to show you all. Zera, my tweezers, Zera, right, Zera. Now, you can push these over polymer clay and create your own bezel. So they're fab. Uh, friendly plastic. Hey, up. Where's he going? He's off. Uh, now you've got, you could do this over friendly plastic, you could do it over resin, you can create your own bezels. I think this is such a wonderful idea. Now of course you don't have to do that, you can use these as links in necklaces and things. Now you've got the square and the oval. These are brand new today, Laura Androlios. Oh, I tell you what, Oliver's got an image of absolutely out. Oh, look, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, don't, now look at those um, chandelier findings. Could, don't you think they're beautiful in rose gold? I've seen them in the regular gold and the silver. I've seen them, but gosh, I do. I, I, do, I know it's naughty, but I have got a favourite, and it's the rose gold. Well, it's, it's just a matter of. Do you know what? We've all got our favourite um, precious metals, I guess, haven't we? And mine's rose gold. What's yours? Now, you have got ever such a lot ever such a lot. I love these toggle cuffs. I'm thinking that, Mark, these would be absolutely <laughs> wonderful for cufflinks. How many do you get in the one, two? You get four of the cufflinks, I think. Do you, or is it three toggle clasps? <coughs> three toggle clasps. Three or two. Wow. I've got three here. I think, yes, you get three as well. Three toggle clasps. All the jump rings, isn't it lovely? Aren't they gorgeous? And you get these um, beautiful earring findings as well with little um, little uh, daisies, I guess, lovely. is what they are. So you've got, actually, there's quite a rustic feel with these, I think. What do you reckon? The biggest boon for me with this pack is, which I really miss from our new finding packs that we get in the kit, are the chandeliers. Yes, and you've got I them just, here, you and see. you've got them in this kit. They also so, look like yeah. little mice if you put them sideways. Do they? Which I shall show you. Yeah, look. Do I see animals in everything? See? Eek, eek, eek. You don't have a cat, do you? I you haven't got a cat. Yeah. Well, we've got them down the yard. We've got kittens down the yard. If you look yard. at a cat's paws, they look like a teddy bear. You yes, they do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we've, got ki we've got cats down the yard. We've got rat catchers. Oh. They're not very good, though. Because the dog catches more than the cats. They just sit there and watch the dog do it. Now, that's what I like about cats. They're not doing anything for anyone that they don't have to do. Now, all these rose gold findings are going to add a, tach, a, a touch of elegance and class to your jewellery. I think they're going to give you that softness from a, a precious metal. Actually, I do find this quite soft, but I find it quite rich. I think silver can be quite striking and gold can be very powerful, whereas I think rose gold is quite soft and quite, well, it's warming, isn't it? It's, it, it's really warming and I, and I think these are perfect for the wintertime jewellery. Don't you just love the chain? You've got a metre of it. Now you get all 46 findings 
for one small price tag. The code that you need this morning, my darling jewelry makers, F double A Z fifty four. If you're shopping online, put one or two in your basket, but check them out. When we give you prices like this. I think you should buy more than one. They're only seven ninety five. It's good value, isn't it? That's fantastic. Gosh. Because you get ever such a lot and you're adding a lot to your jewellery for just seven pounds and ninety five pence. I think it's a great price tag. Don't you? Seven ninety five and something different. It's really important, don't you think, Mark, to offer something different. Oh, I think so, absolutely. I mean, somebody like me who does the craft fairs and things, I mean, you get, you get the same customers coming month after month after month, and they're, they're always looking for something new and asking for something new. So these are beautiful, but to have those chandelier earrings are just amazing. Those, uh, those, see, those toggle clasps, they, I mean, I would use those as connectors as well. So you've got plenty of scope with those. And those little spaces are little donuts as well, they're amazing. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're quite yeah. flat. Well, they're yeah. Actually, do you know what they remind me of? Yeah. You know our chandy beads? Yes, no, you're they right. They kind yes. of remind you of that because they're like three rings. I actually think these look great rolled up. What about the black onyx? How many times do we say black onyx, put this and that in between black onyx? Of course rose gold is going to look striking. So if you bought the kit for an extra seven ninety five to get all these wonderful findings, it's such a treat. Woo! Where are you going, you little blighter? How fab, seven pounds, 95 pence. Wonderful one. It's not often you get great value like this, is it? Although yesterday we went shopping in the M MK, Milk Keynes, and they were giving out free chocolate bars. So I went past seven times. <laughs> and they were my favorite ones beginning with G. Oh yeah, Galaxy. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> let you guess. And I'm going to confess to something really naughty. I ate one for breakfast on the way to work this morning. I know it's terrible, I know. In October of all months, September. What time was it? It was like 5.30 this morning. <laughs> it, was, it was really, it was early. <laughs> so I need something now. I don't want to eat cereal. Those chocolate bars look pretty good with a cup of tea. Now, <laughs> I've got, do you like my earrings? Have a look. I say they're mine, they're Mark's, but. They could have done well, just a tad mine. longer, I think. They might, do you think? Do you think, Mark? Those a tad are actually longer. dusting your shoulders, aren't they? I adore them. I love these tigers. I saw these tigers' eye hearts the other day. Mm. And I just thought, oh, I love them. We haven't got any tigers I like this. I love them. I've never taken these earrings off. I might even go to sleep in them tonight. Now, I have got for you. Are your kids on strike tomorrow at the schools? Whew. Be warned, Mark. There'll be children everywhere tomorrow. Look at, Mark, the quality of this tiger's eye is excellent, isn't it? I bet you were overjoyed when you opened this because I know how much you love Tiger's Eye. And I know how much you love hearts. I bet you love, did you put this kit together? No, I didn't, I promise. Who put this together? It's lovely. I really love this. It were Becky, it were our Becky. Oh, it was Ryan. Now, <laughs> it wasn't Ryan. Don't worry. Look at these twisted, smoky quads. How gorgeous. It's called Eye of the Tiger. Now, which Eye of the Tiger song are you singing? Is it the traditional Eye of the Tiger? No, there's not. It's I got the Eye of the Tiger. No, rubbish. You are not happy about me even mentioning that. I agree. But I do like Katy Perry. No? Whatever. Whatever. That's what she's called her song, don't you know? It is number one, Laura Androly. Else, where have you been? Amazing Italy. video. It's amazing, amazing, amazing video. video. Yes, yeah, yeah. she is hot to trot. Anyway, sing the Eye of the Tiger at me, Ryan. Ding, 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 ding. No, come on. Reaching up. Back on the street. I feel like I'm in Rocky. Took my time, took my chances. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, you don't even know the words. How can you say anything about Katy Perry when you don't? You're no Rocky fan. You're no Rocky fan. Who did? <laughs> who did not fall in love with Sylvester Stallone during that film? Now, you have got some beautiful gemstones here, and a must-have. These are must-have wintry colours. Now, as you can see, I just added a little bit of decoration to the table, and you're going to get those in your kit. So you've got the lovely teardrops. You get three of those. And as you saw in the earrings that Mark made for me, I've got these huge, wonderful Beyonce-style discs. Come on. Come on. Oh, you rascal. <laughs> come on. I, I could... Do you know what I could do? Do you know I could just pick them up? I could just pick them up. It's like when you're with chopsticks and you're... My earrings are from this kit. Are you not listening to nothing? My earrings. I love the way Welsh people say earrings. I love it. My friend Lynn, I make her say earring to me. Or, or she said to me, <laughs> oh, Sean's had her ear pierced. I went, her what? Her ears. She had her ear pierced. Oh, her ears. <laughs> I love it. Ears. Oh, dear. So you got these discs. You got two of those. You've got a lovely square. Oh, it's like a pillow. And then you've got an, an oval. And, and, oh, I love it when we give you more treats. You've got hemp cores. Oh, you're going to love this kit. I know you're going to love it even more when you see Marky McFarkey's jewellery. You're already on the phone lines. You are literally scrabbling around on the phone lines. You've got 98 wonderful findings in antique bronze. They need to be antique bronze with these colour stones, don't they? XAG C40. I like this kit a lot and I know you're going to get it for under 25 quid so I'm very excited because don't forget you've got the hemp cord, you've got the fine, you've got three glorious gemstones. Brand new today, the smoky quartz twisted fasted rounds of 6mm. You've got your yellow tiger's eye hearts 11mm and your agate rounds at 8mm. I like them all for just it's a bit cheeky. 19.95. Hang on a minute, stop everything. Stop. You've had a shave. Oh, God. I think we discussed this. <laughs> oh, I keep looking God. at you thinking, what's he done? You've got different hair and you've had a shave. How dare you shave? <laughs> I thought we had a pole, a telephone pole. No? Okay. Well, in Movember, you will be growing a moustache. Now, let's go on over to gorgeous Mark and have a look at his freshly... When did you do this? A couple of weeks ago. Oh, so yeah, yeah, that's yeah, how worked. long I yeah. haven't seen you yes. for. Yes. Honest to God. Well, I was told that I look like Paul Hollywood from The Bake Off. I don't know who that is. I, I don't get time to watch The Bake Off, but my friend's obsessed with uh, it. Yes. <gasps> don't you just love these gemstones? Let's take a look at Mark's gorgeous jewellery. Bought me a cup of tea with me, because I know this is going to be... Oh! Hey, uh, and that is fabulous. I love it's it. It's very simple. It's very, oh, but very, you know very, what? very simple. This is very classy. Are you using our new toolkit? I am. You diva. Now, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark, a new macrame. Is this a new macrame? Mm hmm. Hello, hello, have you seen this? New macrame? That's fantastic. Oh, Mark, I love it. And look, you've... Oh, hang on a minute. And you've done the new fastening. Bang on... I love it. You're bang on trend because you've got the button fastening. Everyone's doing that right now, aren't they? The button fastening. Have a look. Now, look at this. This is wonderful. I love today. Do you love today? Now, look at this. How fab. How fab. Have you seen the necklace I was talking about? This is so chic. I could wear, I'd wear that, I would. I think it's beautiful. I can't look at you now you've shaved. <laughs> I'm all for the, I haven't let, Lee's not allowed to shave at the moment because I saw Justin Timberlake on uh, Alan Carr Chatty Man and I was like, he looks amazing with that stubble. You're not allowed to shave. So he's there like, I've got to shave. I'm not, no. Oh, fabulous. I do accept you with your fresh face. Look, it does look lovely. So what are you going to show? <laughs> did you love this kit? <laughs> I did, yes, I absolutely did. And the, the, um, 
it, I'm, I'm going to say something because, because um, I've, I'm getting a lot of feedback on Facebook. Lots of positive, lots of negative. About, oh, you've got about, to take the rough with the smooth. Well, absolutely. But, Can't please um, all the people all the time. The problem that I have, because macrame is such a time consuming um, medium, yeah. it's really difficult for me to demonstrate long techniques on the show okay it is which is why so we have a why, masterclass why we have master classes and also be you know i keep doing different variations of square knots but it's purely because of the time that we have on the show absolutely so categorically i do apologize for the fact that um you're not seeing very much new from me but it is the, the, the time okay that that is Absol purely yes, yes, purely of issue. so i've done three new techniques that we've got another one in the later kit later on and this will be put on a masterclass so we can show you from beginning to end. Okay, fab. Okay, so I just, mm -hmm. I just wanted to clear that out. Okay. End of story. So what I'm going to show you is how to do the little button fastening on yes. the back of what I call the zigzag I like the zigzag yeah. room. It's beautiful. Again, both of these, these techniques here is my first time as well. I've never done them before. Um, so I'm really pleased with how that turned out. And that used the whole entire strand of the smoky quartz, oh, apart from six beads to do the, to do the earrings. Do love that. But it's beautiful. And I'll so we're going to gonna see. Yeah. We're going to see the fastening, which we're going to see ASAP. So what we start off with is we've got four pieces of hemp cord. Okay. okay. And obviously, depending on the length of the bracelet, um, you need probably four meters. I would have thought to do the zigzag bracelet. Okay. Zigzag room. And you find roughly halfway along your strands. Okay. And you just tie a simple overhand knot. I'm just going to ask you a question. Yeah. Do you start, you may have already just said this actually, mm -hmm. do you always start the bracelet with the fastening? This is or my first fastening. do you strand fastening. first and then nope. do you do the fastening? I'm doing the fastening first. That's how you start. Right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So you find halfway along your, your piece of thread and you just tie a simple knot. Don't tighten it too tight. So a loose knot. A loose knot because you're going to un you're going to untie it. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pop it on your macrame board or your, your bulldog is clip. Is the knot there just to keep it in place then? It is. Okay. All will be revealed. And okay. then what you need to do is then you do simple square knot, okay, which we've, we've just briefly talked about. Okay, so you take the middle two, like so, touch them at the bottom of your board. Okay, that's and your lazy. You, yep, and you do square knot about two, two and a half inches Right -o. in length. Okay, so we do the left, and everyone knows that the, the square knot. Okay, so you, you do that for about two and a half inches. Okay, so once you've done that little bit of square knot, okay, you have this. Oh, okay. So you've still yeah. got a little knot at the top, mm -hmm. okay, which we've still got in position there. And your strands that you're going to place your gemstones, as you can see, Mark has got here. So he's got all of these strands. Um, this, this is where he. This, these would be his strands for his gemstones. So we've done our, our two inches. Right so we, now we need to form the the little the knot. So what we do okay. is we take this off like so. Yeah. We undo this knot. So hopefully I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't done it too tight. No, there we go. Let's see if we can. It's because you haven't got any nails. There we are. You're, we you're cooking. You're cooking there with gas go. there. So we untie the knot. Just because I've been doing the macrame with it. So we untie the knots. So untying the knot. So you've done your stitch already. You're untying yeah. the knot. And remember, we are at this point doing the little button fastening. So Mia's got quite a two. few bracelets with the button fastening actually. Well this is, this is really good because because we do, um, we do lots of macrame bracelets and, and the lots of viewers find the, the sliding clasp a bit fiddly and, and people run out of the lobster claws with extenders. So so this is this is a really good technique if you well, don't actually, have any Well actually it's very fashionable as well it Mark. Is, it and is. the knot actually I'm seeing, mm -hmm. I'm sure you've got cufflinks like this with these knots, have you? Have you seen them? Do you know what I mean? Uh, no, yes. A yeah. knot there and a knot there. Have you got any of those? No. Macrame no. cufflinks. I've seen them in, cool. in shirt shops, yeah. normally on the counters. You should make macrame no. cufflinks. So we've untied our knot. Okay, and then what we do uh -huh. is we fold it over in half. Oh, like okay. So. Yeah. So the yeah. two buttons uh -huh. meet like so. Okay, and then I've got a I've got a bulldog clip here just to hold it in place. Just to keep it where it's supposed to be. There just to keep we it go. in place like okay, so. Okay. okay, so we then fold those over. All right. We take the two on the left-hand side. Okay. So we've got all the four down the middle, like so. 
And then we just, again, the same sort of thing with macrame with the square knot. You get these the same length. You just wanted to use your they're new tools. That, that, this grit is just... I know. Sorry. They're so comfy. They're coming up for you soon. They're coming up. They're so squidgy. They're lovely. It's they're really like, good. Um, you know, have you ever had a gel grip saddle? Um, not for a horse, for an for actual bike. bike. You know what I mean? It's like that. When you sit on a oh, horse, it's all squidgy yes, yes, like no, a gel right. grip saddle. Right. Do you know what I mean? You ever had one of those, Cass? Gel grip saddle on your bike? Yeah. And then we bring it all up together. Then we do our first, you only need one square knot just to keep it in, in position. Push this underneath, grab them like so. Okay. And then you're ready to do your design of your bracelet. Okay, so off Whatever you go Whatever you want to do, you've got yeah. your design. And then when you get to the end, so pretty. you bundle them all together. And you tie a single or a double knot, depending on the size of your, of your button hole that you've made. Just a single one for now. And then that will be your button. And then it just knots into knots there. Through. How fantastic. So like I said, two and two to two and a half inches of your square knot. Bring them to meet in the centre. A single square knot or two square knots. Absolutely one we've got on here. And, and you more. will show us the zigzagaroo at some point. This will be done. ASAP. Yes. Maybe this And this one as well, which is the alternating square knot, which is, which this again is, is, is a new this one. one. That's another new one. Ovals yeah. you've got here. I yeah. love that. It's very, that's fancy macrame if mm. ever I saw it, isn't it? <laughs> very fancy. Now, we're going to go back on over. Thank you so okay. much, Barky. Thank uh, you. You can get on with your challenge a little bit now. And uh, we're going to go on over because we've got some more exciting things for you. Do you know what, Laura? I know you wanted to do that thing. Can we do the toolkit now? I can't wait any longer. Thank you. It's like, can we open my presents now? Now, now, now. Let's do it. Come on. Yes, she's going to let us. Hooray. If you like comfort grip, if you've ever had a bike, I don't remember the last time I had a bike, where you sit in the saddle and it's got those squidgy gel. What else is it's like that? That comfort. It's lovely. All squidgy, these are. If you do a lot of work with wire, or if you're just jewelry making a lot, these you need them because they, well, look at them for a start. Of course you need them. It's like the difference between a sensible pair of shoes and some really blinged up pair of shoes. No, no, but these are comfortable. Actually, it's like those squidgy soles that you put, party feet, that's what it's like. You ever had those, Mark? You ladies have a lot to think about, don't you? When We've got a lot yeah. to think about, mm. Mark. It's true. We can't just get in the shower, mm. throw on something and put a bit of aftershave on. There's a lot goes into this. <laughs> they are so squidgy. They are... You, you know you need these. I reckon these are going to sell out. They are fabulous. Have a look. They're snazzy. What a Christmas gift. Have you... Is your best friend a jewellery maker as well? Oh, you've got to get her or him these. Aren't they wonderful? And I think they're pretty unisex. Now, Mark, we were looking at these earlier, and I said, I came running in and I said, new tools, new tools. And every time we have something new, it's exciting, and everybody wants it because it's new, because it's different. I love the pink ones, but these are different. I want something new. I want something fresh. The first thing, Mark, that you said to me when I placed one of these in your hand was what? How tactile they are and how, how um, comfort grip, I think the word I used was. Yeah, you said, I mean, oh, yeah. wow, comfort grip. Yeah, I mean, they, they, these are the, the, um, the pink handle ones from, the, from the, our ordinary toolkit. And yeah. these are the ones. And they just, for people who have dexterity problems, I think these would be quite a boon, actually. I actually think, though, Mark, yeah. even if you don't, yes, I agree. Yes, if you've got dexterity yeah. problems, mm. you've got to have these because they're so much more comfortable. But, but, these are for you if you want something that's just really, really snazzy. If you want something, if you're using a lot of wire work, it can get achy on the old mm, palms. These indeed. are better. Can indeed, yes. Now there's a time and a place for every toolkit. If you love your pink tools, you, you keep, keep hold of your pink tools. These are for you if you want. Maybe you, you jewelry make every day. And wouldn't life be boring if everything was the same every single day? Put something snazzy in. Get, this is a great gift. This is a perfect gift. 
Are you ready? Do you think you would have to pay what? An extra? If you were anywhere else, these would be quite a lot extra. So if they were eight ninety five each, I think you'd then be mm. paying eleven ninety five each for these, wouldn't you? Our toolkit is normally nine ninety five. How much are we going to charge you for that added comfort of the wonderful grip? and the funky design. You're not just getting that, of course you're getting the rest. You're getting your snips, your tweezers, your scoop, your reamer, and your bead box. We're gonna give, you need them, don't you love them? I know you're gonna just, do you know what? It's when you use them for the first time, you'll be all like, ooh, no, I love it. And oh, are you jewelry making on your stand? Do you have a Christmas fair coming up and you wanna jewelry make as, you, as, you, as you're working your stand? You wanna sit and jewelry make? Show everybody that actually you produce the jewelry that they're seeing. How funky are these? These are tools to be seen with, aren't they? They just are fat. Fantastic. WFZX27 for the jewellery maker who has everything. Are you that just <laughs> only a pound more than our regular toolkit? You've got to get these. If you're shopping for a friend today, grab her one of these or him for Crimbo. This would be a great gift, Mark, wouldn't It'd be it? Fantastic, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Wonderful. Gosh, they're really strong. They are very strong. Yes, it's yes. just, I want to squidge them. I want to squidge yeah. them. They were really, really, really nice to handle, actually. They just, yes. it's comfortable. It's so nice to have mm. that, isn't it? If you're spending a lot of time jewellery making, then you need them. If you want something snazzy, then you need them. Very popular, we're busy on the phone lines. Actually, a couple of you are multi-buying these, so well done. One for me, one for my best friend. Fantastic, brand new today, never been seen before, and going, whew, out the door. You've got a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you don't love that comfort grip, you simply send these back. You've got 30 days which is brilliant. Not a lot of shopping channels give you 30 days and a money back guarantee, do they? Well, you know what? Whatever you're creating, don't forget us. We want to see what it's all about. And that's where we're going to go now to check out your designs on the wall of fame. <coughs> I'm going to go first today, but before, I, but before I go first, I'd just like to quickly say hello to a lovely lady who messaged me yesterday, and um, and it really, it really, it really, really heartfelt. Her name is Sarah Ablett, so good morning, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And she's just discovered jewellery maker. She's 80 years old. She's not very well, so she's actually What's she's she, Sarah? She, she, she's she's um, she's kept, she's in a room, and uh, at the, all she has at the moment is her window and her bird table. And a couple of weeks ago, she discovered jewelry maker, and she bought a kit and a tool kit, and she said it has transformed her life. And everyone is so friendly, oh, Sarah. And, and she feels so she's made a huge new group of friends again. So. So oh, just a bless big, big you, hello, Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And, uh, Good and, um, morning. I hope you're watching. Yeah. And I'm um, really glad you're enjoying watching us. That's, oh, that's lovely. Oh, thank you, Sarah. It's lovely to have you on board. Right. Send so, us any things to the Wall of Fame, Yes, Fame's absolutely, there. absolutely. So the first one I have today is number 269. Lovely, and this Ashley. is from Michelle in Chester. Um, Michelle says, Hi, all. I've not been around for a while, but thought I would share my latest make. I recently went to Warwick Castle with my family, and they had an exhibition of Henry VIII and his wives. I love the jewellery so much, I thought I would have a go, and this is what I ended up with. The frosted shell pearls are fantastic and are very bright and vibrant. Could we have frosted faceted shell pearl? All the shell pearls and wire from Jewellery Maker. Hope you all like it. And that's Michelle from Chester, number 269. I love Warwick Castle. I do as well. I love it. If you love Warwick mm. Castle, go to Sudley Castle in yes. Winchcombe. Oh, I love it there too. Used to live right next to it. Now this is gorgeous, number 272, a real brighten up the your day kind of jewellery, especially if it's for a wedding. Let's have a look. Megan from York says, hello, second entry to the Wall of Fame, hoping to make it on this time. Well done. Do you know what, Megan? This is fab. My first attempts at making a tiara headband <laughs> and a slide using pearls and mother of pearl alongside some of my uh, beads from my stash. 
Megan, wonderful, well done. It is luscious to see a new uh, a new recruit here at Joy Maker doing so well. So thank so you, lovely. Okay. Next one I have is number two seven. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I love I love the link. And this is from Claire, and Claire says, "Hi, all. my name is Claire from Kilwinning in Where's Scotland." Ork. And this is my very f another very first my very first entry to the Wall of Fame. I've used 0.8 millimeter silver plated wire from Jewelry Maker and baby blue cat size six millimeter rounds Ooh. from my stash. I then wire wrapped a large clear quartz nugget to make the pendant. Ooh, I hope you all like my designs. Yeah. And that's from Claire in Scotland. Now, Claire, I'm guessing you've been jewelry making for quite a long time, but you've just that's come. Amazing, isn't it? You've just sent us in. Wow! Wow! A, wow. Your wow! Look at this. <sighs> it's like a fire. Ah. Oh. I love the plating. This is excellent. Again, wonderful. Uh, 273 is from Teresa in Royal Windsor, Berkshire. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Teresa says, this is the first time that I have entered. Teresa, where have you been? I've been watching Jane from January this year, but I've been making jewellery for over 20 years. You can tell she's been making jewellery for a long time, can't you? Uh, for over 20 years. However, this is the first time that I've tried wire work. Come on. Wow. Tracer, it's amazing. I was inspired by Gemma Crow and Vicky as they showed how to do this wire work. And then I bought the kit. And here we are. I use lemon cultured pearls, coated tiger's eye, and antique bronze wire, all from JM. I'm so pleased with the result that I'm going to do the design in other colors and gems. Uh, from an avid fan who manages to spend at least £100 each weekend, uh, <laughs> brackets, don't tell my husband, I think he's going to notice. If he doesn't notice, then I want to know what your trick is, please. Because nothing goes unnoticed in my house. Is it in yours? No. no nothing? No, 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 no. no oh, no. wow, Marky. The, the thing is not to have a joint bank statement. Is that the thing? Mm. Oh, well, then I'm done for. Yes, yes. OK, and the last one for this segment I've got is from Jean in Lancashire. And Jean says, hi to all at Jewelry Maker. I've been making jewelry with polymer clay as well as gems from yourself for about two years. I thought I would send in a photo of some of my designs using your wonderful bezel settings. I'm just about to have my first stall at a craft fair with another Ooh. friend, so we're quite nervous. I love watching all the presenters all at work, and I hope I'm lucky with my entry. Best wishes to you all. And that's from Jean in Nelson, Lancashire. Number 271. Oh, Jean, good gorgeous, luck. Good luck with your, um, with your craft stall. It's lovely to have your friend on board as yes. well, isn't it? Now, after the break, we're going to bring you that stunning blue. If you are creating New Year's Eve pieces, a bit winter ball, isn't it? Stunning, isn't lovely it? with silver. Gorgeous with this silver stardust Ron does. Coming up for you after this. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. Here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call centre. The new studio store. The experience just got better. Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Debbie Bulford for a fun and relaxing day discovering the addictive appeal of chainmail. This workshop is ideal for beginners and will introduce the fundamentals of this art form. You will be guided through a range of beginner's weaves and learn how to create your own Byzantine bracelet and earring set. The full course includes a pack of 200 jump rings, a toggle clasp, 
a pair of shepherd hook earrings, the chainmail tutorial DVD, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a chance to meet the presenters, and take a visit to our gem museum. All this for just £74.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Add to your collection with our Memory Wire DVD, which is full of hints and tips and step-by-step -step instructions for all levels. Follow Lucy and Debbie as they take you through how to create bracelets, necklaces and rings using Memory Wire. To get your hands on a copy, phone our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Oh, electric blue. These are wonderful. I'm thinking Christmas balls, winter balls. I'm definitely wanting to put these with silver. If you manage to grab that silver chain, then this really is a must have buy for you. These bright blues will create striking, eye catching jewelry. Wonderful next to those black onyx. Wonderful next to some white frosted quartz. Mark Peacock Blue, really bright, really vibrant. I can see you're looking with great interest there, sir. Well, I'm, I'm thinking I've started using gold with dark blue. Oh, well, gold, it doesn't matter. Yes, yes, very yes. Egyptian, actually, mm. isn't it? Yep. Let's have a look. What would you do with these rounds, Mark? Gosh, I, I'd, I'd definitely set it probably into big danglers, or I would do big the danglers. big danglers, or the, uh, the, the Celtic bangle with some nice gold wire. Oh, lovely. Goddess, Beautiful. goddess. Yes, Could you do a goddess bracelet with chain? If you cut the links individually, you could. Oh, like yeah, like they do mm. with jump rings. Yes, 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 yes. How wonderful is this blue? Beautiful eight mil rounds. The eight mil round. Well, let's talk about the round because it is your best friend in jewellery making, isn't it? It's a wonderful size and shape that will lead you to your first BDB, to your first stretchy, to pretty much anything you want to create. Drop earrings, like Mark said, lots of chain. You can keep it simple because of the colour, because the, the, the colour is already striking enough. Or you can really go to town, really embellish. Brand new today. Now you are all over the phone lines this morning like ants on sugar. WWR U02. I love your company. 0800 655. This strand is going under £10. With a 30 day money back guarantee for £8.95, you're getting something fantastic. Look, can I try it on, Oliver? Is that all right, my love? Oliver, Oliver, look at that. Do you know, Mark, just simply restrung. Absolutely. Absolutely, that's all you'd need. Mm. Chain at the back, maybe. Mm. I love the sparkle. I love the sparkle. Now, Laura, do you remember when we had the um, tube of silver, rose gold, and gold stardust rounds? The round ones, yeah? These would look amazing in between. Amazing. We had those at the weekend. If you manage to grab the last in stock, then they're going to look fab together. £8.95. Brand new today and absolutely flying. Please don't forget to text us in this morning. We've had a few. We will ask, um, answer them out. Read them out. That's what we'll do. We'll answer them out. 
uh, a little bit later. I don't know why I've got all cut. I've got all Stacey Solomon again. Eight ninety five <laughs> with the tassels. I really like the tassels. I would mix these with bright green quartz as well. Bit of gold. Oh, whoops! The days they're making another peacock again. Look at that, Mark. I've got new peacock curtains, which sound gross, but they're amazing. Wow. Yeah. Because we all know that it's an absolute no-no. It's an absolute no-no to bring real peacock feathers into mm. the house. So big curtains with peacock feathers on them, they're lush. $8.95. I'm obsessed with peacocks. It's because I'm not allowed a real one, Ryan. I've been trying to um, convince a certain somebody in my house that I really need actual reindeer over the Christmas period. And could we keep them forever? Well, of course the answer's no, Mark. But I am allowed yeah. a new pig. They're not very big, real reindeer. They're, they're, they're quite uh, small. Yes, they're beautiful. Yes, yeah. I, I'm sure they could. I'm sure I've got plenty mm. of great. I'm allowed a new pig, because the pig's got no one to snuggle. Oh no. And he's getting kind of like needy at the moment. Like I can hear him like, <laughs> and it's making me want to go and cuddle him. So I do, and then he doesn't want me to leave. I have to get oh, another no. pig. He is a needy pig, and like, listen. Piggy Rascal, the notorious PIG. You've got to be, stop being so needy. Look at these. They're just good. They are proper peacock blue. Oh, I have got vibrant green. Oh, how wonderful. Look, look. Oh, now, now, now we get, now we're cooking. Look at that. Oh, I love it. See, now we're peacocking. Aren't they lovely? <laughs> Wonderful. The gold chain is at the bottom of your screen. 11.95, 10 whole meters. Are you ready now, my little Nedios? Because I'm going to give you something else, Gorgiano. Have you ever been a synchro swimmer? Uh, have I ever been a synchro? I've dabbled in synchronized swimming, but I was a water oh. polo player. I used right. to swim for the county. That's why I got such big guns. Because right. you're quite elegant with your arm movements and yes. I, I, was, I, I was a swimmer actually, Mark. Mm, right. Up until I hit 15 because I used to have to get up at um, half past four every morning to swim before school. Gosh. And uh, I gave up when I was doing my GCSEs. I, that's why I never lost these big old bulky Hulk shoulders from it though, eh? Right, let's. I think we should all do the cha-cha because it's Monday morning. Now, oh, I like these. I do like these, you know. Now you're getting a you're getting a deal on the two. Have a look. For me, these are kind of your tropical fruits. These are your fruit baskets. You've got your black currants in there, your blackberries, and you've got your lovely juicy oranges. Do you know there's labradorite in these ones as well? Rose quartz, lemon quartz. You've got such a lovely mix of colour. Now, Mark, you're a chip and nugget kind of guy. <laughs> Talk to me. What's that? Let's get that out of the way. Talk to me about what you would do with these. There's moonstone. Click. You get I ever such an array in here, Mark. They're fantastic, aren't they? I mean, I would just memory wire them. Memory would wire you? bracelet coils. Absolutely. It's easy peasy yeah. lemon squeeze. Would the little drill holes be all right with mm. the memory wire? Yeah, absolutely. What about tassels and, and bubble bracelets and, and things like that? Doable? Absolutely. I just, look, look you've got one, yeah. everybody's got the hand carved tulips of uh, rose quartz in here and you've got quite a lot of them actually. Now, last in stock, we're gonna give you another fabulous dish. Wait, I get memory wire with this, do I? I do. Stop. I'm uh, such a duffer. I'm a duffer. I just looked and it said memory wire and I thought, hey up. And you get some. You get it with them. You do, Marky. Eh? 14 coils to the spool. You could make a slinky or you could make bracelets. Earrings mm. look amazing. Mm. Now, have you ever wanted to make the perfect hoop earring? You just add your shepherd's hook onto there. They look Wonderful, really wonderful, very celeb. So you've got how many carrots have I got in these cha cha cha? They sound great. This is what Carol does to baby Harriet all day. No, shake, 
does this. 700 carats in total. The same gem selection. You can make absolutely stacks. This is a great gift, another great gift idea. Are you ready, my little darlings? All of this with the bracelet memory wire. 14 quills. It's a good price. 14.95. It's fantastic, isn't it? Wonderful, well done. You've got Labradorite, you've got clear quartz, you've got lemon quartz, you've got everything you love in here. Carnelian, I love Carnelian. Hand carved gemstones in here as well. You've got Moonstone, you've got, gosh, everything. Amethyst, have I covered everything, have I? I hope so. Aren't they lovely? Aren't they lovely though? What a lovely colour combination. They're very earthy, aren't they, these colours actually? Very earthy indeed. 14 95 No. Let's go. Oh, I like these. Yes. Now, Laura, this is a combination that I absolutely give you the thumbs up for. I love them. All right, these are going to be very... Oh, Mark. I'm going to show you these individually. Now, they've, inter they've entwined. Now, come on. That's my favourite cut at the moment, those wheels. Why? Why, I just, Mark? I just love them. Absolutely been, love them. They're being very naughty. Hang on. What do you do with them, Mark? Eh? I would just re-strand them. Groups of three as, as earrings, maybe with um, rose gold spaces, little space of beads in between. Just look beautiful. I just love the cut. Do you it's know, the so quality mm. it truly is excellent. Look. I'm just going to put them there, Oliver, if that's okay, just so I can move them. Look at those. They need some skin, right? Oh, look at that combination. Aren't they just, and look at the facets, they travel all the way around. Oh, I love these. The iridescence is striking. And these are buttons, actually, essentially. You take them off the strand and you put them on a, a ball head pin, wrap loop at the back, You've got a lovely, lovely button. Now I'm also gonna give you, and you are gonna go crazy for this combination. Oh, I love those nude tones next to the cool tones of aquamarine. Now just check out the clarity of this aqua. I mean, it's glorious. Look at that clarity, look at the color. Do you know, these are so vintage, super vintage. I am definitely feeling but this is going to go very well. Actually, I think antique bronze. I think antique bronze, I think keep it vintage. Keep it very, very vintage. Now, you can put these together, you can, oh, look, just look. Have you ever seen that really expensive sort of crystal that you get in those large department stores? Look at the cut. Look at the cut of these. They look expensive. Expensive, don't they? They are so elegant. When you started jewellery making, I don't know whether you're with me on this one, Mark. What's the first thing you ever did where you took apart some already existing jewellery? <laughs> Take it apart and recreate it. Because as a girl, you have loads of this jewellery in a drawer and you think, oh, I'm not going to wear that. So you sort of start taking it apart. That's how I started. And then I started um, go, coming here, and I, never, I sort of left that jewellery making uh, behind. And then when I started here, uh, a jewellery maker, I was like, oh, yeah, I love doing this. And I think a lot of us start that. Now, Aquamarine, when you first started taking apart that jewellery to recreate, did you ever believe in your wildest dreams that you would be using a gemstone like Aquamarine? A, it's going to be a precious gemstone. That's the strong rumour. Look at the peach. Oh, I love this moonstone. So you've got June's birth gemstone, the birth gemstone of March as well. J-E-G-C-85, the signature look. 80 carats. The aquamarine graduated rice beads are 11 by 5 to 18 by 9 on the graduation. Your peach moonstone, 6 by 3 to 12 by 4. J-E-G. See, a 70. Now they should be over 20 pounds. You're paying 17.95 for the two, which you would pay for the aquamarine alone, wouldn't you? It should be 25 pounds. Great saving, beautiful combination, heavenly colours. 
absolutely vintage and fantastic. If you're thinking about getting involved in Gemma Crow's workshop, these would be great ones because she does do that lovely vintage look. What about Sheila? Let's think about Sheila's classic designs. Throw some pearls in there, make it bridal. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Wouldn't it? Actually, this is a very bridal combination, isn't it? Look at those. I think quality of our marine recently, the past two or three months, has just been extraordinary. It's just, just beautiful. Do you not find it extraordinary that we've even I got know. it? I know, yes, absolutely. Isn't it a joy as well? <laughs> I mean, and then, yes. but Mark, when you go and sell your jewellery on, mm -hmm. do other jewellery makers who don't know about us say, well, where did you get aquamarine from? All That's not time. aquamarine. All the time. Do they ever question you? Mm -hmm. Do you the tell time. them or not? Because yes. they are competition, Mark. No, 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 I tell them. I'll give them, I'll give them a leaflet and a brochure and a uh, how-to booklet and a DVD. Good on you, Mark. So, yes, no, I Be spread the word. Well, did you see that... Um, Adoring Gems had a stand on. Did you see that oh, what she put on her Facebook page? Isn't it? Did you see? Oh, yeah, but did you see what happened to her at the weekend? No. Somebody came up to her, browsing over a jewelry for ages, and said, "I'm a jewelry maker. Now you're seriously undercutting me, and it isn't fair." She didn't know about jewelry maker, I bet. Wow. Because she didn't. I guess she didn't know what to say. Oh gosh. Do you, it is outstanding that you get this value. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to spread the word or not, whether you want to do that thing where you're like, I'm working it with my business head on, nobody's letting, <laughs> I'm not letting them know my secrets, it's your secret, you keep hold of it. 17.95, this can be your secret, but my word, wow. your customers are going to love it. Now, are we doing hair combs? We have some hair combs. I was going to wear the, which ones, which ones? Now, I do love this. I, I do you make a lot of hair pieces or not, Mark? Um, is it your niche being a chap? Is it something I've that... I've just started tinkering a little bit. Good, tinker, tinker. Yes. Yeah, I've had, a, I've had a little lesson with Gemma and um, she's been giving me some tips. And now, uh, Mark, yeah. you went on Gemma's <laughs> private <laughs> I workshop. I did, two weekends ago. Tell yeah, me about it. It was fantastic. And, um, Natalia went as well, did she? Who, who was uh, the other person? Louisa. Louisa, Louisa. Louisa. Yes. Oh, and did, did not another one, when did you come now? Um, From one of the designers? So. Lots, no? lots of viewers okay. came. No, it, was a really, it was a really good day. And uh, for somebody who's never done any, anything bridal at all, it was amazing. We learned how to use mesh and uh, tiaras and, and hair combs. Did you get into bridal, Mark? Yeah, it's, it's too much of a responsibility for me, I think. Oh, please, come on. Yeah, I mean, it's that special day. It's, it's once in a lifetime jewellery. and if That's it's, why it's so wonderful to make it. You know me being a perfectionist. It. I just don't think I could cope with the pressure of... Now stop. Of, yeah, OK. You must, you must pressure actually, actually makes you perform better. Now, have a look. I do think that, do you? When you're Just because you have to. You have got the combs. Now, Gemma actually told me that she pays ever such a lot for these. Mm. If, she, if we're out of stock here, which we often are at Jewellery Maker, I've got an example of some hair combs. Wow. Wow. Isn't that lovely? I just adore Peridot. Who made these? I adore Peridot. Wow. See, I just love hair combs. I just think they're so special. Isn't that one? I love that colour combination. It's so springtime, isn't it? Now I'm going to give you five combs in gold, five combs in silver. And these are quality combs. Gemma said the quality on these is really, really excellent because you've got those double, you see. Now I'm also going to give you golden hematite oh oh and I'm gonna give you some lovely shell now these are wonderful in rings as well as of course in the hair combs so let's give you another wonderful opportunity to create gorgeousness here at jewelry maker look at the facets adding such incredible sparkle now, Gemma told me that a couple of hair combs would normally cost you about eight quid for two. Because she does have to source them if we've got them out of stock. And we do often go out of stock with these. So if you love them, get yourself on the phone lines. Because we're going to give you 
Hang on, I'm trying to keep my hands so that you can see it all. I need an extra set of hands. We're going to give you a great prize tag. HEG C0710. Would you pay that for a couple of... You would pay a little bit less for two hair combs, I've, I've heard, out there in that big old craft store that's fabulous but expensive. 9.95, it ain't half bad. That's that's less than a pound each for the hair combs and, you, and the gemstones for free. It, you've got to get it, haven't you? Oh, gosh. Uh, just think about all those Christmas parties, Mark. Hair combs, fascinators. Think yeah. about your office party. Think about New Year's Eve. Who's coming to my New Year's Eve party? Everyone. Think about... Oh, there's so many party opportunities out there, aren't there? Can you imagine Vicky Carr on Christmas Day? I wonder what she's going to dress as. <laughs> I bet she goes in and out of the room as different characters. Look at that. Fan blooming tastic. Absolutely wonderful. Now, my lovely jewelry makers. Do 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 do. Sorry, I don't know why I'm putting these here. That's a very higgledy piggledy place. Now, I'm going to give to you presentation boxes. Mark, talk to everybody at home about the importance of packaging. Well, I see lots of people on craft stalls who are very fond, and there's nothing wrong with them, they're very fond of paper bags. Okay? Now, if somebody's spending five, 10, 15 pounds on a nice piece of jewellery, I personally think the last thing you want to do is, is shy away from really nice packaging. I agree. And especially in November, December with craft fairs and Christmas fairs, especially when gents are buying, least work is possible. So they want to buy a piece of jewellery, they want to buy it in a nice bag or a box so they don't have to do any wrapping. Gents are, are notoriously bad at wrapping. Oh, so, well, um, they just don't no, 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 want absolutely. to do it. No, that's right. So depending on, on the price of jewellery, I mean, it, whoever buys anything from my stall gets a complimentary organza bag straight away. If they want to go up a stage to the velvet that we had on the show a few weeks ago, then it will be a certain amount of money and then gift boxes will be extra on top of that. Unless they're, 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 they're buying a really expensive piece of jewellery, in which case it, then it would be complimentary. So you've got that foam inside so that you can place a bracelet, a watch, whatever you want, or a necklace on the larger ones. Now, it does make a difference, packaging. Mm. It means that you, the designer, believe that your designs are worth putting in great packaging. Now, I was talking to you yes, uh, today. We went shopping yesterday uh, to Milton Keynes. All of the Christmassy stuff is out in that big uh, department store beginning with J. <gasps> My beating heart. Do you My love it? My favourite shop in the world. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love it in there. Do you know, <laughs> we were like absolute kids in a candy store because mm. we were uh, trying to plan our, um, you know, Christmas decorations and rah, 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 we were getting our cutlery and all of this lot. So we were looking in there and I was thinking, Mark, mm. everything's so beautiful and expensive looking in there. Everything is packaged so gloriously. And all of these wonderful gingerbread houses with their cellophane and their wonderful packaging, it makes it more magical. Packaging makes it more no, magical. You're right, you're right. And receiving a gift that is, you're going to want to open wrapping paper to be exposed straight away to the jewellery. It cheapens it. When you've got it in gorgeous packaging, it feels special. You can put it in a box and you can put it in your special drawer where you get out your special pieces. You know, when you're going out for dinner. You know when you're going out for dinner and you want to get that piece of jewellery out that's in the box? You know, it's so, it's so much more important looking and it just feels more precious when it's boxed, when it's packaged beautifully. So you've got the earring slits in here or you can, of course, put a ring in there. A up, there we go. All of this, and these are great quality. Now these boxes with the foam inserts would be a couple of quid each, wouldn't they? The little ones, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That's 12 quid for the little. What do you reckon, a fiver each for the big? If you were in a card store. Mm. About think, that one. So. Because they've got the foam insert, don't forget. And because they're specific for jewelry. Now, even at jewellery maker price, they'd be over £15, which is great when you consider what you've got. But, and there's a big but in here, not just mine. 
I'm going to give you a ridiculous... You've got to get this deal. Are you creating for Christmas gifts? Are you going to give your sister something beautiful for Christmas? Are you going to give your mum something beautiful for Christmas? Your mother-in-law? Anybody who is special to you? Your partner? Because these can be unisex. You can do the cufflinks in there. They would look fab. Anyone where you want to present a gorgeous gift. Are you selling jewellery at a jewellery party? Are you selling jewellery on your craft stand? If you are, you need to package it. It's so, so important. Not $15.95 today. No way, Jose. They're only $6.95. You better get two or three of these. Wow. $6.95. What's that per item? These are going to sell out. Wow. 80 something pence of, uh, come on. Ease, let's do it, let's buy two. Buy two, two of these, why not? Do not leave yourself short of fabulous packaging. FRG C31, the presentation essentials. Eight boxes, now we've gone low stock. You love your packaging, you're all creating for Christmas. How fabulous. How many necklaces are gonna make out of that chain you bought earlier? Eight pounds, 95 pence. Now, I'm gonna give to you, doopity doopy do, something else gorgeous. Akuna Matata. I've never well, seen that film. Oh, you must. You'll love yeah, it. Really? When I got home on, oh, the presentation box offer is gone. I'm so sorry if you're watching the repeat. When I got home on uh, Saturday night, my daughter and her friend were in the kitchen, and it's half past 11 at night, mind, making their own music video to Akuna Matata. So I came in <laughs> and just was like, woo, we all did a music video. I put it on Facebook. It was so funny. Oh my. Have you seen this? Get out of town, Mark. Mm. Look, woo, hey, up. <laughs> Good job, they're all big, isn't it? I did this at the weekend. I went, do 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 do, and they went, Poof! And Mikey went, no! <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite. Look, look, Mark. Look at the size of them. Wow. Look at this. Look, look at the violet, look. Come on. This is not my new favourite uh, deluxe gem scoop. Look at it. Look, Mark, Mark. Wow, look at these pendants. They're all pendants. I've got a heart shaped one. Oh, this is very exciting. Do you know what? No, I've got the best clasp for you ever. Look. Ooh. 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 Now look at the clasp. Now I've seen a piece of jewellery using that clasp. Second from the left behind you on the bracelet stand. Uh, 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 Top shelf, second uh, from the uh, left. Uh, it's amazing. Who did that? I That's saw beautiful. It, I saw it this morning. It's just beautiful. Here it is. Ta -da! Tongue in box. Have a look. I do prefer a tongue in box. Have a look because you get that added security. Listen to the click. Listen to the click when the tongue... There you go, did you hear that? It's so secure. Now you've got the two loops. Look at the Labrador Essence. This is striking. These are, these are quality though, aren't they? When you really want to get, I mean, do you know what's the best thing for me? Tongue in box on, on a pearl necklace. Look at that, because, but if you've ever seen an antique piece of jewelry, this is what it is, isn't it? That added security. If you're using Gems of Distinction, you've got to get one of these fastenings. They're bezel set, beautiful cabochon, into a tongue in box fastening with those two loops. These are stunning, stunning. These are 12 95 on the right. I've got a couple of these, but in Moonstone, I want to get this one. And I got a rose quartz one. This is, I, this is beautiful. I love it. I've got to have this. This is the best deluxe gem selection ever. I've just decided. What do you reckon, Mark? I mean, to have all these pendants of, of just total and utter. Can you see why people see magic in gemstones? I can. I mean, look. Look. 
Oh, are these drill hold? Yes, they are. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it's ultraviolet. It's totally beautiful. This is amazing. Can you believe we get this from the ground? I mean, come on. Do you know, the more labradorescence, the more layers. The mm. more layers, the older the gemstone. OK, now I know the box cost is 12 .95. Tell me how much. All right, so I'm going to guess. This is the high-end collection, so I'm reckoning the whole bundle is going to be 29.95. Get out of here, Laura Androlios. Would you like this for a fiver? Definitely. Well, I already want to buy this tongue and box for... Wow. I already want to buy this tongue and box for 12 95 So to get this for a fiver, yes, please. Yes, please. 17 95 This is an absolute steal. If you are creating high-end jewellery, then you absolutely need the these. You need them. They're gorgeous. They're fabulous. Look at that. But do you know that is hand crafted that um, that clasp as well? Did you know that? Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and you've got the mark of nine two five silver on the back of it, which just I always do. Your customers, when you say yeah, it's silver, do they look for that? Do they look for it? Do they go, once, where's the mark? It's happened once or twice. Yeah, it's really quite nice to show them. I would look for it. I'm going to be honest oh, with you. you. I want to. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh -huh. quite like. I'm like that. I want to see. Oh, I'm like, you know, now, you know these deluxe tubes, they're so gorgeous. Look, look, has some tidying away. Now. I'm going to show you. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Have you got it, Cassandra? Oh, Casuvius, thank you. That's her new name, Casuvius. <laughs> Tanzanite and emeralds. Oh, have you seen this marking? Mm. Isn't it lovely? The first thing I noticed was there are no chips in there at all. They're all rounds or shapes or rondelles. Drops, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rondelles, yeah. Oh, I do love this. What a lovely comment. Look at the colours. It's reminding me of something. What is it? What does it remind me of, this, this colour combination? So I'd never have thought of putting those two colours together. Well, they are gorgeous. But I'm going to definitely now. Always, I think. I love them. Have a look. Thanks for tidying away for me, Oliver. Oliver Pops. Have a look at this. Oh, do you love Russian diopside like I do, Mark? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's mm -hmm. my little Russian diopside song. How beautiful is this? What a cut! Russian diopside coming up for you in today's show at some point now we're going to give to you can that before i go to the next one we hardly see peacock pearls lately what is that about don't have them a lot do we We've got them today Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that colour. Isn't it fab? Coming up for you in a tickle bit. Now, I have got for you another wonderful kit. This one, the last one I gave to you was dramatic and earthy and autumnal. Let's go a bit softer. Let's go a bit girly. Let's go a bit feminine. Now, have you been doing Zootash? If you have, you've been looking for all the edged gemstones, which are nice edges, edges to suit ash against. If you've been doing, what about polymerclay suit ash? Again, perfect. Macrame, of course. I'm going to take my first strand and show you. 
the edges. Laura is not feeling well today. She has obviously lost her mind a little bit. Now, we've all come in today a little bit like this, haven't we? We're all a bit lazy. We're all a bit like that. Well, Ryan, for once, do you know, Ryan's miraculously stopped coughing, and now we're all ill. You do the math. Now, you have got these gorgeous rose quartz. Now, anyway, as I was saying, Laura's not feeling too brilliant today um, so she's gonna take this kit and you're this is the lowest price kit that I think I've seen on the day show you need to be on the phone now or you may miss out I've got buy cones for you these feel a little bit Angelina ballerina they're really really pretty very girly very very girly aren't they good for bridesmaids aren't they good for little girls as well little bright little ballerinas and look, now I know Mark would have loved this strand because it's graduate. Oh, the earrings Mark is made. And you're going to get silky cord. So your purple quartz graduated faceted rounds are 8 to 16 mil on a 14 centimetre strand. You could easily just restrand that actually. Madagascan rose quartz. You can't take this down to that price. Shut up. No way. You can't. Are you gonna? That's Madagascar rose quartz, everybody. By reputation, some of the finest colour in rose quartz. 10 metres of pink silk satin cord. Oh, by the way, those are 12 mil. Oh, sugar and spice. ORG C11 is your item. Do you also get 98 silver findings? Ouch. You're going better than half price, are you, Laura? Well, you are a little meerkat. They're ever so pesky, those little meerkats. But you can't out loving them. You can't out loving them. You can have pet meerkats. Did you know that? Really? Yes, you can. I'm not sure how they go with pigs. Now, this is going uber, 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 uber low. Brand new today. 0800 or the wsjurymaker.com. Are you ready for the lowest price tag I've seen in the day show? Ladies and gentlemen, £16.95 for a kit. Mark, talk to me. Price, crazy, see? Mark cannot talk. Wow. Well. Of course you're getting the usual. Oh, yeah. just in case you think, oh, you mustn't get the beading material because I didn't even reference it. Of course you do. Of course you do, Ryan Josh. That goes without saying we would never, ever, ever leave you out. 16.95 let's trot on over and see what this man has got up his sleeve this time for us now at 16.95 we are most certainly talking about our lowest priced kit ever in the day show that i can remember i can't remember it being wow it is a wow kit i love the colors let's go and check out the jewelry that mark has designed oh i love this is the birdie one look at this is it an owl yes my other half, before I cut the tail, thought it was a squid. But I think, squid. It, I, think, I think it was those, those little pink sweets. Oh, I little love Little sort of this. chewy, pinky sweets. Are you going to show us how to make this? No, again, this, this, this is going to be a, a masterclass or, a, or a, another special because that took me about three hours. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, and again, that, it was, my, it was, my, it was my first attempt again. And, Look um, at this wire work. That's, all, that's the only extra I've added. Because I used all the head oh, pins I and the eye it. pins, I, I just stranded some... Um, some one mil wire together just to make the, the branch for him to sit on. That was uncanny. I do do a good owl, you do it's a good true. Owl. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it's the only talent. Oh. <laughs> I'm a girl of many voices, but zero brains. Look at that! Very art deco, actually, Mark, that. Mm. No, I'm really pleased with him. I think he's really good. Look. And that is the, the That's middle the section. Art one, yeah, the middle section I'm going to show is is the a take on the goddess bracelet that I've turned into a necklace. That's central. Look, is it? Oh yes, look. Central section. Yes, it is. Yeah, just to show you, can, you can use the, the take. Sorry, any dogs could way. hear me then. I went rather high pitched. <laughs> so my kids have started saying that to me now. Mia says to me, only dogs can hear you at that level. <laughs> now look, it's so 
pretty is that rose quartz very simple very beautiful and look you knew i'd like these mark look how gorgeous i can't not have a kit now without making a pair of earrings for you oh i love that about you can you can, listen my drawer at, in my bathroom at home is full of earrings and they're all like laid out they've got their own designated drawer. i'd be proud of you for your organizing skills with your drawer oh, well you know that i live with mr ocd so, yes. yeah, and I've had a right dressing down this weekend over my untidiness, so everything's uniform. Mm -hmm. Oh, he is lovely, though. He is lovely. <laughs> I, do, I don't want to paint a bad picture because he is lush. Look at that. I need organising, Mark, as you know. Now, you're going to show us that take on the, the goddess. Middle, that middle, that you've that got little here. section in the middle there. Yeah. Can we just have one more look at the owly? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that is really good. <laughs> You should see me at Halloween. <laughs> Aren't they wonderful? Now, yes, the neck, the goddess. I just wanted a sneaky peek, Law. Sorry. I'm gonna. Have you got something of this? Can I move it yet or not? Can I move it yet? Sixteen ninety-five for the kit. Now, mm. Mark, you are using our new zebra uh -uh. striped tools. They're uh, really good, actually. Yep, I'm gonna use them. And so use those. An extra comfy grip. I'm gonna put this here, so okay. hopefully we can see it a little bit. Okay, so Zeb to make the little, sorry. Sorry darling, Zebra Toolkit, just to let everybody know, is on the bottom of your screen right now, £10.95. Do you have any left? Have we got any left? We've got a few, we've got a few. We had loads of those okay. because we knew everyone would go bananas yes. on a stick for them. Right, so I've got two pieces of beading thread, and th with this we do a little section first and then we attach it to the chain afterwards. So I've got two pieces of beading thread, and the first thing we need to do is pop on one of the smallest of the quartz on your strand. Okay, okay, because they are graduated. I love graduated. Have you, have you grouped them all them. in the same size then? I have, okay. yes. Yeah. So we've got five of the small ones, yeah. and then one of the large. Black there currant, aren't Black they? Currant, yeah. And then Hello. five of the of the small on the other side. Lovely. So yes, yeah, so I've, so I've grouped them all. I always do that when I have graduated. I take them all off and put them in their sizes. Fact. So first thing we do is we take both strands and we thread on one of the quartz. Okay, and then we separate the two cords, like so. Okay. okay. And we pop on, um, sorry, before we do that, pop on one of the jump rings, like so. And then we separate them, and we take one quartz, and the hole, like so. Join uh -huh. them both together, uh -huh. and pop on another jump ring. You might need to close up the jump rings before you make the necklace. Just to make sure that it doesn't slip off. Good job, you've got that extra comfy grip. Yeah, because, you're you, yeah, because you're using that beading thread, you don't want any gaps. Okay, so then we pop on okay, through jump ring. I can't believe this kit's only 16.95. There's a major risk that you're going to miss out if you don't get this quick. Actually, quite a few people have bought a couple of these. No, it's, it's, it's good value though, isn't it? We're now low stock. Well, those, I mean, that graduated quartz with a rose gold space of bead in between. Oh job right. done. Job done. Absolutely, easy, yeah. easy. So now we've got a, a bead on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. To get that goddess style, we need to alternate the sides. So we separate the two strands and pop on a bead on the right hand side. Excellent, like so. Pull them both together. Next bead. Sorry, the um, jump ring. Like so. And then we separate and go back to the left hand side. And if you could just continue this routine. And that's how you get you get the, the this goddess is the traditional yeah. goddess, isn't yeah, it? With the, with the metal with jump, the jump rings, rings yes, yeah. yeah. So we just continue this all the way along. We've got five, and because the number of beads that I've chosen, you you will have enough jump rings per bead for the beads. Uh huh. So pop that on. Okay. So all you do then is you in the middle section, you thread on a large bead, and it just it just centralises the design. So, okay. Oh, so you put the bigger one Big, right bigger in the, the centre. And that, that just adds a bit of weight. Oh, yeah, in the okay, of that. that works okay. really well. And then you just continue this all the way along until you've used up your 10 jump rings. Uh -huh. I didn't close it up properly then. A up, A right. up. So there we are, then. There we go. And we pop that through the jump rings again. Okay. And then when you've got to the end, so I've got five small beads then a large and then five small to get that central pattern and again that will use up your 10 jump rings 
that you get in the kits. Now to make the uh, little drops here, again I've properly planned it, you see you've got two of the large and then two of the small and then two of the extra small. So oh. you get that sort of patterning. So again it goes from large up to small. Yes. And if I can just point this out to you, I use the okay, in between the two jump rings, either side of the beads, you've got a tiny little gap, about a third of a centimetre of yeah. beading thread. Yes. This is what you attach your Oh to your, the thread, not yeah. the rings. I so, see. So you just take one of these, mm -hmm. one of your little sections, um, open it up. Okay. And all you do then is just simply attach it onto the excuse my hand in the way. Let me do it on this side. Pop it through the beading thread. Right, so we can get that in. Here he goes. Made the holes too small. Pop it through this piece here. So you thread it on then to your to your beading thread, and then we close up the hole. Your eye pin and then let them dangle. So if you do, as long as you remember to do them different sizes, so they get smaller as they go up to the end of the necklace. And then when you get to the end, you crimp bead with little loops either side, and then you attach, as we've got on here, the chain either side. And it just sits nice and symmetrical. So you can see that all the little jump, all the little jump oh rings yes. are sitting either side of the beads. They sit nice in the uniform yes, because you've yes, done that, don't yes, they? They yeah. come together. Yeah. Wonderful. Beautiful. Now, you might be thinking, stop everything. Mark's used, used his own tools. What's going on? No, he's not. If you've just tuned in, well, you better become part of the club because we have got the new toolkit and they have an uber squidgy grip. They are really super good. squidgy. Look like how thick they are. And I've got big chunky hands as well. And oh, they, do you know they what? These are better really in the nicely. winter because they're not going to be as cold. You know when Ooh, everything's so going to yes, be warm, yeah. when you put a little snuggly jacket yeah. on your steering wheel. <laughs> See, sometimes I, I struggle a little bit with the ordinary tools from the toolkit because they're quite small. But they but can be these, slippy. Yeah, but these, these are, these are really good. And I, I can use these with my big man hands as well. Big man hands. I'm with you, I've got mm. quite big man hands too. Now, um, you, you are getting the comfort grip here and that's what we're paying for. Um, of course, I mean, the pink ones are fabulous. They are fantastic. These? Mm. Oh, they're a little bit better. So if you're the jewellery maker that needs to have everything, then these are for you. You've got zebra striped tools. These are great crimbo prezzies. You've got your round nose, your snipe nose, and your snips, your nippers. WFZ X27. So you have got also your snips, your tweezers, your scoop, your reamer, and your bead box. WFZX27, you're gonna get all of this for just a pound extra in comparison wow. to our pink toolkit. They're 10 pounds and then 95 pence. One of two ways in which you can come and grab yours, as always, on the phone lines 0800 644 or you can get involved online, it's jewelrymaker.com. So for that extra squidgeability, yeah. I do like that, Mark. Oh, the minute small, we yeah, both, because we thought, oh, they're yeah. just separate prints, they're the same, and then we got them out, and we're like, oh my gosh, they're so squidgy. They're like a big, comfy pillow of well, squidge. No, you're right, you're right, you're right. Fantastic. Loads of you there. Now, whatever you're creating with these fabulous new tools, show us. Send it to the Wall of Fame. That's where we're going to go right now. Now this is super inspirational. Silver clay, another thing you have to try, mm -hmm. sir. This is just incredible. If you want to create, you, you really feel like a jeweler when you create with silver clay because you are creating genuine silver pieces. Well, in fact, fine silver, 99.9% .9 fine silver, so it's even better than sterling silver. This is just heavenly. Number 276, it's from Andy Smith in Swindon. 
I used to go clubbing in Swindon, Mark. You wouldn't Did have you? been there. No. Uh, hi all to JM. Here is a silver raspberry leaf I made. It's amazing, Andy Smith. I started by picking a raspberry leaf from the garden and after painting it with silver clay and then fired it with my kiln for an hour, I soldered a wire wrapped ring onto it and using four mil garnets, I then made a berry and attached it to the leaf. The chain is a sterling silver chain from my stash. All the rest from JM. I'm looking forward to hearing your comments. If I am selected for the Wall of Fame, I recommend before picking any leaves, you ask the owner's permission, unlike me, who got a clip round the ear from the wife. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, I'm sure wifey won't mind no, if you're gonna make no. something that lasts forever. <laughs> oh, bless you, isn't this wonderful? And the detail, it's Andy, is exquisite. incredible. Well, I think it was well worth the clip round the ear, Andy. It was. You could have done worse things. You could have done way worse things. You carry on picking those raspberry leaves. That is amazing. And for anybody else who's been wondering about silver clay, it's so fabulous. I think, do you know, I just think that oh, is amazing. It's wonderful, in fact. Unique. It is. Absolutely unique. This is rather unique as well. Oh, I he's, he's like a crack. him. Oh. That's the Pim's little, little stir in I here, like little Twizzler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, are. the next one I've got is number 274. And this is from L Liddy. Liddy. Liddy in Minehead in Somerset. And Liddy says, hi everyone at Jewelry Makeup. This Look week's entry him. is sitting on my sailor man. The set comprises of a pair of dangling earrings made with gold plated 925 sterling silver and blue topaz rondelles. The necklace is made with blue topaz rondelles, pewter rondelles and pink rhodonite on gold plated sterling silver. And the bracelet has again blue topaz, rhodonite and pewter rondelles. I found those two colours, the pink and the blue, extremely nice together as they complement each other very well. Hope you all like it. Keep all the good work and the bargains coming. All the best. And that's from Liddy in Minehead, number 274. Oh, we should Liddy. give him a name, shouldn't we? We should, sitting on my sailor man. <laughs> uh, that made me chuckle. What's his name? I don't know. Garnet. Garnet. <laughs> now, everybody this weekend uh, has uh, been going crazy. I yeah. thought this had been on already. Or is it just that everybody has been yeah. looking at it? Literally, Cindy, everybody has been looking at this in this building. Wait till you see what Cindy's made out of felt. This is brilliant. And I mean brilliant. Mm, very, very good. I don't even need words, just look at this for a sec. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is just the most beautiful, beautiful. I, I think she does things for children because her, she's, uh, her business is Bella's Buggy Bags. Uh, hi all at JM. Thought I would send you this picture of my first attempt at Needle Felt uh, Fairy. She's wearing a cherry quartz butterfly, which I got from JM last year. Hope to see another masterclass on felting soon. So do we. I didn't manage. You didn't manage to see the first one, yet you did this. Now, felt is amazing. Look at what Cindy's done. This is outstanding. I want one of these at the top of my Christmas tree. I love her, aren't they? I Absolutely love her. Beautiful. I think she's just stunning. I mean, in a little girl's bedroom, I just love it, Cindy. I think it's wonderful. Gorgeous. Well done. I like the way this is nicely displayed. Oh, as well. and the earthy tones yeah, are lovely. Aren't they? Aren't they? Yes. The next one I have is number 275, and this is from Heather. And Heather says, Hi all, please find attached a photo of the recent earrings I've made. All semi precious stones from Jewelry Maker and findings from my stash. The stones include agate and wooden jasper. Oh. And that's lots of love and regards, and that's Heather number 275. Fantastic. Beautiful. Well Beautiful. done, Heather. Now, this. Yeah. is uber using Egyptian gold chain. using that mm -hmm. gold chain if you bought our gold chain from earlier for 11.95 this is a great inspirational idea from Susie Gardner who says hello JMers this is my entry for this week not sent in for a while due to busy work schedule this is made from lapis lazuli oh I love it bronze hematite gold chain and gold wire good luck to all this week from Susie in Cockburn's path where's that Coburn's path is how you say it, she's put in brackets. I don't know where that is, but I'd like to go there. Uh, two, seven, eight is your number, Susie. It's gorgeous, I think it's so Egyptian. Now, after the break, I have got for you that emerald and tanzanite tube. Now we've only got limited quantities of these and we do expect to sell out live on the show. So if you don't like to miss out, and stick with us because we will be right back.
Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Would you like to try a new hobby? Then why not give us a call on 0800 644 655 and we'll send you a free copy of our DVD and booklet to help you get started. You don't even need to make an order. Get involved with Jewelry Maker. Join Jewelry Maker and guest designer Mark Smith for our long-awaited macrame workshop. Get to know the essential techniques and knotting formations to create these vastly popular designs. Learn square stitch, twist stitch, slip knot and much more. The full course includes a range of different threading materials, a selection of gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our gemstone museum. All of this for just $79.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Today I've been on the Wirework for Beginners course and it's been really helpful to me. I've bought wire and I've bought tools and not really had the confidence to use it because I'd feel like I was wasting it. So to come along and be shown exactly what to do and have one-to-one -one tuition has been brilliant for me and it's really given me the confidence to go ahead with my jewellery making. Here at Jewelry Maker, we have a commitment to providing genuine gemstones. We do that by up to three lab tests and we have our own in-house gemologists. That therefore means that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. Amazingly beautiful. This is a wonderful. Now, this is going to be a considered purchase. I'm going to start with that, okay? This is for you if you want high end. Every single one of these is cut absolutely exquisitely. You don't have chips and nuggets in here. These are all wonderful gems of distinction, emerald and tanzanite. Now, you have two precious gemstones in here you have got an incredible selection of some of the very best gemstones I want to give you I'm gonna put them on the macrame board if Mark will allow me to just because if, if I put them on the white one they're gonna go Phew. thank you so much Mark because I want to show you the color of these which will be drowned if I show them to you on the black. Now, you have got absolutely stacks of precious gemstones. Let's have a chat about them. I want to show you, first of all, the facets in the emerald. Now, that is an emerald. I want to show you the size of this Tanzanite cabochon. Now that is a genuine tanzanite. They're rumoured to be a thousand times rarer than the diamond tanzanite. Tanzanite is a gemstone, as you know, that's only found in one place in the world, 
foothill of Mount Kilimanjaro. Tiffany & Co launched this, as you, as you probably also know. And uh, ever since then, this has taken the world by storm. A gemstone that you will see at Tiffany & Co. You will see at Bulgari. You will see at Cartier. You have got some of the most incredibly beautiful strands. Look, you are going to be proud to own a whole tube. Now, Mark, when you've got so many precious gemstones, and I've got to say, the combination of emerald and tanzanite is not something I've seen before. I am in love with it. Talk to me about this wonderful waterfall of colour. Well, as I mentioned earlier, I would never have thought of putting these two colours together, but they work beautifully, absolutely beautifully. And what, what, you know what I would do with the strand. I would, I would, separ <laughs> I would tell separate... Tell me, tell me. I would separate the emeralds from the tanzanite, and then I would group them into sizes and put them into little bags, and then I would decide how I was going to work with them. Because you've got so many in... Look at that. That's an I mean, emerald. the facets look at that. are knock-dead gorgeous. <laughs> Wow, they? And the size of that cabochon, it really is incredible. The depth of colour we're seeing in Tanzanite, a player acrylic gemstone that is just a must. Wow. Now look at that Fabergé egg, eat your heart out. Have I, I don't think, have I seen a stone like that on a strand? I've never, no, no, no. These have not, these cabochons we didn't have a lot of. Uh, so no. we unstranded them and we put them in the deluxe. Wow. We didn't have enough to put them to air. It wouldn't no. have been fair to everyone. So we put them in here. They're enormous. Aren't they? Aren't they enormous? Aren't they beautiful? Now that in a ring. Oh, no. Would you yeah. prong set that into a ring? Gosh. This beautiful. is amazing. Let me show you all of the gemstones. That you are getting so many. Have a look. Absolutely stacks. And because they're precious gemstones, Mark, would you recommend to everybody? Because I know that people say, you don't have mm. emerald, you don't have tanzanite. Download the certificate Absolutely, of authenticity. Without a doubt, without a doubt. This is incredible. <laughs> I would do a cluster, a bubble bracelet with all of this. Now, mm. I would definitely take the cabochon and I'm going to prong set that. I mean, to a tanzanite ring, come on. Big temptations to keep some of these pieces mm. of tanzanite. Have yeah, you got yeah. any tanzanite in your collection, I have, Mark? I have, yeah. We all have to have some, don't we? Is that Aren't drilled or undrilled? This one is drilled. Wow. Massive. <laughs> it is huge. It's absolutely gorgeous, Mark. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Now, um, two precious. Now, look at this one. Unfaceted in that wonderful teardrop again. Woo, come on, you little monkey. Isn't it beautiful? Absolutely stunning. These are real emeralds, real tanzanite, and you're going to get a real treat. All of this, now what do you reckon? 39.95, these are precious gemstones. I'm talking to you about an absolute shed load, 300 carats of emerald and tanzanite. Now Mark, you're shopping at Jewelry Maker. You know you're gonna get great value. First of all, if you don't know about Jewelry Maker and you tune in, <laughs> what is going on? How come, how come these Jewelry Makers are getting tanzanite and emerald? What would you pay for this if you were shopping with us? You, you, which you do, I know. Yeah. What are you gonna pay? If I didn't know Jewelry Maker, I've never seen it before. Gosh, I don't know, 80, 85, 90 pounds? Easily. Easily. Now this yeah. is our, um, a high end. It's going to be a more of a considered purchase mm. in comparison to the rest of our uh, of our uh, deluxe scoops. But my goodness me, is it worth it? If you've got the chain and you really want to stack it, I'm going to be really honest with you though, Mark. I'm very set in my ways here. I want to put it in sterling silver. Nothing, nothing else. It's got to go no, in sterling oh, absolutely. silver. I mean, a pair absolutely. of emerald drop earrings. What would you sell those for? Just little drops of emerald. What would you sell those for? I sell my precious, my precious three or four now, uh, twenty pound a pair. Twenty pounds a pair mm -hmm. for one gemstone in each. Are you ready for an exceptional price tag? We're taking these 
under 40 pounds. <laughs> Mate, you! <laughs> 27.95. Snap them up while Why you can. I don't want you to miss this deal. 800 6 655. Mark, can you make a profit off this? You were just saying one pair of earrings, 20 pounds, two gemstones. Massive, Hello. Massive profit. And you've got December's birthstone coming up in there as <gasps> yes, well. Yes, Tanzanite so, is yeah. one of December's birth gemstones. Yeah, if you've got any white pearls, white pearls with both of those. Would I just agree be single so drops, much. Would be beautiful. Beautiful. What a what a buy. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful buy. $27.95. See, those tanzanites are larger than you get on the strands of distinction. Oh, aren't they? Those and Mondale. then some. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Loads of you in for this one. Gosh. You are getting. Now, Cass has just spent ages unraveling this, but the minute you put it back on, I would put it. We need to put it on a bobbin. She wants to kill me. No, she doesn't. Okay. Lots of chain mark is what you're getting. Lots and lots and lots of chain. Ten meters of chain. Loads. So much it stretched from this side of the room right to the other where Chloe Chloe's watching telly in the other room. Let's show everybody. Chloe skiving. Look at her, the big skiver. That's what happened. That, that, that's what happens, management. She's going to go mad, watch. Yeah. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe! <laughs> she looks a bit, she looks like she's in a mood look. She's got a mood <laughs> face on. Look, get, get, get her face, she's in a right mood. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> look at those lovely teeth. Look at those lovely teeth. Chloe! <laughs> <laughs> It was Chloe's birthday, and I said to her, did you have a nice birthday? She went, birth week, more like. She is such a princess. She's like one of the Kardashians. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. All of this chain. Now, my lord, you can make so much. Seriously, so much. There you go. All of this. Wonderful. I feel like Zsa Kapoor, darlings. All this chain. Now, definitely perfect if you're creating. Oh, what about a slave bracelet? Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, it's the one that goes on your finger and then up your wrist, and you can do it. Oh my gosh, it's amazing on the feet as well. If you were like on the beach and it was lucky enough to have a winter holiday, probably Mark. Probably Mark. All of this. He's not denying it. These are the last of the links that we've had the last. I bought you a couple of these over the weekend, most of which have sold out, by the way. These are the largest of all of the links. So if you want size, if size matters, then this is the one for you. A E Q Z15, £11.95. Oh. It is wonderful to have your company. If you are looking for those big links, perhaps it's because you are making a uh, charm bracelet. Maybe you're making charm bracelets. You want to really put loads and loads of charms on there, give something some movement. Then you want chain like this. If you want to make a necklace where you've got lots and lots of drops of chain, £11.95. This is your deal. The silver is at the bottom of the screen for you at the same price. How is it, Laura Androlios, that we are giving the gold for the same price as the silver? Isn't it, is this, is this real gold on copper? Yes, it is. Why is it the same price? Because I love you. 11 pounds and 95 <laughs> pence. All of this, hang about. Oh, do you know what? I can't get it off now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God, God, I'm all chained up. I'm Marley and Marley. Ooh, I love that film. I love it. Do you love that? What's your favourite Christmas film? Um, mine is Wonderful Life. I still haven't watched that. I need oh, to watch it. God. Oliver's is Santa Claus the movie. I do like Home Alone. Yeah. I love it. I love the music in Home Alone. I love the house in Home Alone. I love it. I love it. Who who doesn't want reindeer in the front of their garden when it's Christmas time? Because I so do. Are you with me, Mark? No. Mark's not with me. 
Well, you should be. I'm going to create Cleary Clark's Winter Wonderland at my house. Now. Oh. I'm stuck. Now. Let's give to you. Ooh la la. Now, oh. I think we ought to take Marky out for a um, oh. for Christmas do. <laughs> it's happening. Why me? Why do you Because always... you've never been out clubbing or for a Christmas do. I want one celebrity style picture of Mark rolling out of a bar. <laughs> That will never happen. <laughs> never, ever, ever. He will, he's just like staggering out with his wine in his hand. We are going out next Friday and I can't wait. Where are you going? We're, don't build your hopes up. We're going, <laughs> we're, we're going to a theatre in Oxford to, to watch oh. an evening with Monty Don from Gardener's World. Are you? Yeah. Oh, and are you going to go out afterwards? No, 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 straight home. Mark, go for a meal afterwards no, 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 or something. We might have something before, but no, we're really looking forward to it. Oh, how lovely. Good. Oh, I'm going to take you out, Mark. You wait no, till the Christmas no, do. No, 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 You're coming no. out in the Christmas do. Bring your partner. I'm going to take Mark out. You're going to love it, Mark. He'll hate it. Saturday He'll hate night, it. and we were peeling onions. No, that's, that I that's, don't mind that's, that. That's good. We're happy with that. That's. Do you know what? It's fine. Uh, we do family things in the evenings, but you've got to go out sometimes, haven't you? I spent the night mm. chopping up rhubarb and stuff last night. It's fine. Yeah. Baking, it's lovely. But sometimes... <laughs> no? No, you only live once, no. Mark. I, I always begrudge paying alcohol prices when we go out. I just... No. I'll tell you, uh, that's why God invented the hip flask, Mark. No. The hip flask. No, oh, I'm, I have yeah. got, I, we go racing, so we, uh, right. we always have a hip flask full of port. Port? Port in one pocket, Stilton in the other. <laughs> 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 no, I don't take Stilton. Now, I've got to be honest with you, you are about to get some of the most beautiful gemstone combinations here. This is heavenly, heavenly. Now look at this. To get you've got to keep look, Mark. But it's so bridal, so bridal. Oh my word! Now you're probably wanting to know what you've got here. I think you can tell. I think you can tell. Now the zircon is striking. Do you know they had to rewrite the history books because of zircon? Because when the gemologists and the scientists actually studied zircon, they discovered that it was older than they thought the Earth was. How amazing is that? So it's the oldest gemstone known to man. Now, in this gemstone, you have more refraction than a diamond, which means more bling. Absolute so smart. Why are diamonds so popular, do you know? Marketing. Huge marketing campaign by De Beers. Yeah. Made diamonds the gemstone. It's like you had to have that gemstone on your engagement finger. If you love your fiance, you'd give her a diamond and everybody went diamond mad. Before that, it was of course aquamarine. Now, this really is, it really is one of the world's most strikingly beautiful gemstones. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. The sparkle is incredible. And I think to twin it with what is dubbed this generation's gemstone, next to the oldest gemstone known to man, what a duo. Now this is super bridal. Now, of course this is for you if you're creating very high-end jewellery. I'd say this is a bridal piece. Do you know what you've got here, don't you, Mark? Two of December's birth gemstones. Yeah. Yep. 
only turquoise that you'd have to get. Now this really is striking. Now I want to create bridal pieces out of this. I want to put it in a necklace. I want to put it in a bracelet. I just think it's absolutely decadent. It's so expensive looking. The luxury duo of Tanzanite. Now these two together, if I might, if I may, I'm gonna put this around my neck. You should be paying over 45 pounds for this. And I tell you, if this was your wedding jewelry, that's not a problem. Look how beautiful it is. Would you do this, Mark? Look how beautiful. Slide a toggle class would keep that in place, wouldn't it? Ah, oh. or wire, would you, do you wire it? We had, um, on the late show on uh, Thursday night, we had some jewelry made by Rosanna. And uh, the particular bundle that, that she'd used were tanzanite rondelles. I think it was pretty much the same size as those, with little s silver spacer beads. And she beady beaded with them. <gasps> and they were the most beautiful earrings I think I've ever seen. And looking at those two, just mix the two together, beady bead earrings, just looks phenomenal. Oh, just to have that sparkle all yeah. the way around. Be, um, they looked beautiful. Mm. It is for you if you're creating really high end, more expensive pieces. These are never going to be sold never going to be sold for much under 30 pounds of course but we are going to give you a treat you should be paying so much more you should be paying well over 40 pounds if you just bought the deluxe scoop then you'll want these to make them go further now I've got, i want to just draw your attention on this important the clarity on the tanzanite it's something that in fact most of us have commented on now this is a play acrylic gemstone which means you don't just get that beautiful blue you also get other tones as well you get pinks oh look at that you can see the pinks you can see the pinks can't you now it, it really is wonderful just to look at i would keep these jggc 35 the luxury duo 15 carats of tans like 35 carats of zircon a december duo for under 30 pounds and 29 pounds and 95 pence you've got a steal here we could be giving you this for so much more you need to make elegant pieces out of this you need to make expensive pieces out of this this is an opportunity for you to grab precious gemstones by both hands and make utter luxury for 29.95 you've got yourself a 30-day money-back guarantee two wonderful gemstone strands and beautiful designs just swimming around in your head right now fabulous now i would only ever use sterling silver or gold with these because they deserve utter luxury i'm going to give you a deal on these Oh, way up. Have a look at these. So these are sterling silver ball head pins. Now these are great if you are creating your bubble bracelets and they're sterling silver. We're gonna give you a great price tag. So you are getting in total 100 sterling silver head pins. Okay, Mark, uh, you have a budget for findings you Which? need head pins they're sterling silver let's say how much you need a hundred of them how much are you gonna pay for 100 these are the extra long ones as well yes. well my budget for findings is 30 pound a month and it starts tomorrow being first of the month oh so um gosh I don't know how many there are hundred 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 sterling, sterling silver. silver mind gosh now I know you buy these so I don't think I've bought them in a hundred before. What do you normally buy them in? Uh, when they come 20s. in, when they, when they come in the little kits. Ah, in this within the in silver the sterling, findings. Yes, gosh. So for a hundred sterling silver, between fifteen and twenty pound. About twenty quid, you reckon? Mm. That's a lot of silver there. Well, it should be, in fact, for twenty, it's five pounds. You've got a hundred. You can buy them individually now for £25 on the website. They're sterling silver. You're, oh, it's going to add value to your, to your jewellery. You can, like Oliver said he um, sometimes uses them as head pins and then cuts them in half and then he makes his own eye, pi eye pins. Mm -hmm. Chain links if you're doing your rosary beads. Look at this silver. Now, you're getting 100 
100. 20 is normally five pounds. So it should be, so these should be, why can't I work this out? Why am I that stupid? So what should it be for 100? 25. 25 quid, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I did think that was the answer, but then I questioned myself. You know, you're like, that was too, you worked that out too easy, which means it's wrong. Now, <laughs> we're going to give to you a fabulous saving, a wonderful saving, sterling silver head pins. Coming to you, not at 25 quid, woo! 14.95. <laughs> Talk to me about the value that silver can add to your jewelry. Well, I th I'd agree with Ollie completely. I mean, if, if it's sterling silver, you want it to be seen. So I would, I would do exactly what Ollie said: to take off the little balls and keep them for your resin or something like that. Yeah. And cut them in half and use them as, as links in your rosary chains, without a doubt. And being slightly thinner as well, you'll be able to get quite a few of your gems of distinction strands onto the silver head pins as well, which yes. I know a lot of people struggle with. Because the sterling silver mm. is a little bit yes, thinner, yes. and it's much easier to manipulate. The Tanzanite and Emerald, if you just bought the really gorgeous Tanzanite and Zircon, if you're thinking about getting our Russian diopside today, silver, of course, I would not go anywhere else than sterling silver or gold. Uh, for 14.95, you are buzzing around. There's lots of you in a queue on the phone lines right now. There you are up there in a queue on the phone lines because that's where you sit, up there. 14.95, well done. It'd be lovely if we had a, a live audience. Can't we have a live <laughs> audience? <laughs> I don't know what they would do. We don't entertain them enough, perhaps. I don't know. Now, it would be fun, wouldn't it? Here's our audience. Look at them having a little chinwag in there. We shouldn't show them. It might be a secret chinwag. They might be talking secrets. We might be able to lip read. <coughs> Who are they talking about? Doesn't Elle look glamorous? She's beautiful. She looks lovely. She looks very lovely. Now, my darlings. And Chloe looks lovely. We've got some glamour pussies here, haven't we? Now. I can, there's so many of these blinking things, I can't get them away. There's loads of them. You always, the thing with head pins, Mark, it's not a want, is it? You need oh, them. Oh, no, 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 well, no I absolutely. Want them, but <laughs> I, you need them, is, uh, uh, you know. They're a different staple of your stash, aren't they? Oh, gosh, yes. You've got to have them. Now. Doopy doo, my lord, doopy doo. <laughs> Last chance to get these twisted slabs. Now, these are huge. I showed these to you on Saturday, and you went bananas. The last remaining few of these, we were talking about Sutash with these. Did you watch the show at the weekend, Mark? I don't know if you were busy, but uh, did you see these? Look at them, they're right. massive and they're twisted. Did you see these? No. They're gorgeous. Oh, look at the size of them. We decided that they'd be great with them. Um, you know, weighing down a necklace, taking it from a U to a V, and then lots of chain to tassel underneath. Perfect. Gorgeous. And then twisted ovals. Aren't they? And then look at this, look. It's like angelite, but pink. <laughs> it does, it is a little bit mysterious, mystical. Isn't it gorgeous? Isn't it gorgeous? Can you see? Big cocktail rings, big pendants. What about a lariat? What about an over the head or a Japanese style over the head? Mark's making something very interesting indeed with his challenge, my darlings. Now, if you love pink, what about using these in the center of a watch style bracelet? What about using these, do you know, a lot? Decoratively, do you know, Mark? I know you. I don't know if you saw those crazy amethysts we mm. had. Um, did you see them at the weekend? No. They were great big druzy amethysts, and they were oh, yes, massive. Oh yes, I did. I did see them. Yes. I thought of you when I saw those because I thought you'd put them in a bowl. Yeah. Yes. They're wonderful, <laughs> and these are the same sorts of things. What did you just say, Oliver? What did you just suggest? It was good. 
light switch pools. Mm. Do you know what else these are good for? Um, Gemma Crow makes a lot of uh, pools for blinds, bedroom blinds. So for a little girl's bedroom, one of the square with a couple of the um, of the round at the bottom would be lovely. Really pretty. Maybe it, oh, I'd use the tassel as well. Really pretty for a little girl's bedroom. Now, what would you do with these, Marky? I would do. Um, I'd have to watch the DVD first, though. But I would I would do a a Laura binding inspired duke, really heavy duty cuff. Yeah. And I would put a candle in it and use it as a candle votif. I love this idea. That I'm very really nice. excited by candles mm, at the yeah. moment. Well, this this time of year, I mean, we 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 always have candles at home, and it's really nice to do to do structured votives to pop candles in. That'd be Think beautiful. about, Mark. We, obviously, I told you we went to that big department store mm. beginning with J and L. Mm. Um, yesterday, table, big table displays of Christmas and all of these wonderful pillar candles with yeah, amazing... Yeah. And I did say, actually, you know what? Genuine gemstone ones would mean so oh, much yeah, more. And they would look so pretty. And they should be more expensive than the plastic ones we're seeing here. Mm. Um, quite an expensive department store. But my goodness me, you could make your own. How beautiful would that be? It would be beautiful. Those pillar candles. We bought some candles yesterday that were library scented. Library scented. I'm telling does you. Does the library have a smell? It does. Because really? they, I'm going to, oh my gosh, they are amazing. Anyway, oh. so if you want to embellish your table, then this is it. It smells of books and wood, is what it smells of. 0800 644 655, a little bit churchy. FNGC04, you've got the rounds. You've got the ovals and you've got the rectangles. Look at the lustre that you get from that cut. It's fab, isn't it? We're going to give you all three. Oh, oh, stop. I haven't counted them. Wait a minute. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 on that one pendant strand. And these are pendants in their own right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 13 in that strand. 26 pendants. I'll take it. Are they 26 quid? Pound each, fine. Did you buy the kit for 16.95 with the rose quartz in it? Get this bundle. It's 1 PMP all day long. 1 PMP all day long, 17 pounds, 95 pence. FNG, C84 is your item code. Mark, if they were a pendant, I really liked his idea doing a Laura Binding cuff style bracelet and then he put a candle in the middle of it. So that is your candle holder. Lovely. What do you sell that for, Marky? Oh gosh, I don't know, 25, 30 pounds? At least, I would have thought. For a candle, would you on the supply the candle as well? Yes, yeah. Seventeen ninety-five. By the way, if you want Laura's uh, DVD, speak to the call centre. It's only four ninety-five, or have a little flick through the DVD section on our website. It's jewellerymaker.com. Now, oh, I love them. More tongue in box this time too. And this time, malachite. Have you seen the malachite bath? You've got it, haven't you? Have you got the malachite bath suite? I know you were eyeing no. up the labradorite work surfaces for your kitchen. Have a look at the, it's so, whose is it? It's like worth millions, isn't it? The Ecclestons. Whose is it? The Ecclestons. Bernie Ecclestons' daughter. Bernie Ecclestons' daughter? Yeah, she's got, she's got a, a white quartz bathtub that's reputed to be a million pound. She bought it from Harrods. And a malachite bathtub. Mm. <laughs> How the other half live. How wonderful though. Do you think that'd feel cold if you got it? We, we were going to ha get a house with a brass bath. Big oh, roll yes. top brass bath. Yeah. But I couldn't bear the idea of it because I thought I'd get in and it'd be cold against your back. What? Anyway, that was me getting into the bath. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Making a mum noise. Um, 
But why is that? You become a parent and you just start whooping. Anyway, Malachi, <laughs> look how powerful this gemstone is. Do you know that Jean Schlumberger, who is a wonderful designer for Tiffany & Co, has got a dot charm of Malachi. Tiny, whiny, 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 whiny. I think it's like 800 quid. It's wonderful. Have a look, at, have a look for it, Laura. It's fab. Now listen to this. Do you hear that snap? Do you hear that? Do I need to put it near to my microphone? Listen. Can you hear it? Sorry, did I? <laughs> Inappropriate. Uh, now, the malachite can be very expensive. Now, the thing that you'll notice about this is not only the uh, uber security, but you've got three rings here. So you can run three strands off that. Now, have a look. Oh, you've got to have this. Again, tongue in box, perfect, very expensive looking. All sterling silver. And look, they've got that silver mat. Now these are all hand set, bezel set. Lovely lapis lazuli. So you've got Egyptian lapis. Actually, these are quite Egyptian together, aren't they? How fab. They look great together. Don't these look wonderful together? Malachi is expensive. Do you know what? Malachi is a gemstone that we see in the high-end collections. It is because, I mean, if you, if you think Tiffany & Co is selling this gemstone for a lot, for a tiny dot of it, and we're encasing it in silver and giving you all the mechanics, you've got the three rings there as well. Sorry, let me just move it up because it's going to fall off. You've got the three rings there as well. Here's an opportunity for you to start working with luxury. Box clasps with malachite. With Malachite Lapis Lazuli, you're going to make a saving on these. They should be twelve ninety-five each. Is that right? Or is it more because you've got more silver on these? Because they got the extra ring, haven't they? Should be twelve ninety-five each. But they're not. You should be paying over twenty pounds. Well, majorly over twenty pounds for these. But today, seventeen pounds and ninety-five pence. You know how to shop with us online, jewelrymaker.com, or on the phone, so 806 444 Mark, what would you do with these? Are these something that you've got in your collection already? I have, yes, but I haven't used them yet. I'm waiting for, to do that really well piece. I've got some beautiful yeah. malachite chips, actually, at home. It'd be really have nice you? to do. In, do you remember in a few shows ago, I did a, a sort of a Grecian-style necklace with yeah. three separate strands of chips? Yes, 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 I do, I do. That look. Gorgeous. That would just look amazing. Black onyx. With incorporated in the malachite with that as the clasp at the this back. This would look good with what you're creating yes, right yeah. now, actually. Yes, yeah. Absolutely striking. Strikingly beautiful. Do you know, we love your company. Keep those text messages rolling. If you've got a question for Mark, then it's 60777 James Studio, followed by your message. On Saturday, we had a record amount of texts. Now, I'm just going to give you a little recap on Marky Barky's challenge. Mark was really happy with this challenge today because he had 14 mil rounds of black labradorite. Have a look. I love these, do you? Aren't they fabulous? So you've got your 14 mils, then you've got, look at this, brick red. Now we were talking about fires with this strand and I think the orange in here burning embers and then you've got the mossy green just wonderful black onyx we don't see many black onyx strands you've also got black wire 0.25 you've got all of your beading materials your beading thread your monofilament and your elastic and you're also getting 98 bindings you've got a meter of chain you've got your ribbon ends with your extenders you've got your toggles your eye pins your head pins your shepherd's hooks your nautical clasps your nautical clasps, you've got crimp beads, crimp bead covers and the flat donuts, all of this. A great first purchase of course at Jewelry Maker because you get a free tutorial DVD, step by step book and a JM Hub magazine as well. All of this for just $18.95. You've got a pendant strand in here, you've got a 14 mil strand of black labradorite here. Now. We're going to see some get started techniques. A lot of brand new buyers today and we welcome you with open arms and a great big hug and a huge kiss. And we would like to show you 
some basic techniques. Of course, when you start with us here at Jewelry Maker, we don't leave you short because with your very first order, you will get a free tutorial DVD, a step-by-step -step book, and a JM Hub magazine. Now we're here with the fabulous Mark to show you, wow, some incredible jewelry. He's done some very intricate pieces here that, that aren't beginner's pieces, but also we are gonna yes. show you how to start. Look at these wonderful earrings. Now Mark, that 14 mil really lending to the design here. Well, it always does with, with drop earrings because you need some weight. You need something to, yes. to, to aid the drop. And, absolutely. And they're just absolutely perfect. And I've also incorporated some little findings from the pack. So we've, 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 got, we've got an eye pin running through the middle and we've got some little silver spacers. We've got little silver balls. And of course, we've, we've got the shepherd's hook. So everything you need for that pair of earrings you get within the kit. And everything you've used has come from the kit. Now, Mark has done something uber intricate and I absolutely adore it. Well, it was McCarney. going to be a bracelet. It was going to be a bracelet, but I'm going to turn it into a necklace. Why not? Do it. Because, Make it because it. in the yes. kit, as we know, we, we get the chain as well. So I'm going yeah. to do some sort of chain detail. Oh, how lovely. But this, this is um, crocheting all of the black onyx from I that one strand. It. And then using that as my working strand to do it. And it's just, it's just really nice and fluid and organic. And, and um, once, once it's finished, I it'll, like look, that. it'll look it's really nice. It's kind of Gemma Crow, sort of messy structure, mm. Mm -hmm. which is not normally your thing. No, You're no, normally no. very uniform. Yes. Well, I haven't finished with it yet. It may well be uniform. No, okay. I love it. Do you? Do you? Okay. Oh, I love it. I love to ruffle the hair. Yeah. If somebody's all neat and tidy, I like to <laughs> scruff it up. Now, okay, where are you starting? And of course, important to note that the zebra, um, the zebra squishy tools that Mark's yes. using are brand new today, and they're ten ninety five for you. The details of which are at the bottom of your screen. Take it away, Mr. Smith. Okay. Well, I get asked quite often on the show how people can incorporate the tassels, and it's it's a bit sort of marmite, isn't it, with with tassels? People I either like marmite. them or they, or, they, or they don't. So, but I'm a huge fan of them. And what you can always do. We're just going to, the, yep, sorry. Ooh, there you are. What you can always do is, um, if you don't like the particular length of the, of the tassel that you get in the kit, what I started doing on particular pieces is, is cutting it in half. So you've oh just yeah. got a smaller tassel. So, you so can it's use the little fibres in resin as well. Absolutely, Marky. absolutely. So it's really, really simple. So all you need to do is, is when you're taking your tassel off of your, your strand, yeah. you've got the little loop at the top with mm -hmm. a hole. You yeah. just need to make the hole slightly larger because you need to get the eye pin through. So just use your round nose pliers, like so. And then we take one of our eye pins. Okay, for people who are who are new to the show, eye pin being the the, the little piece of metal with a loop. loop at the top, and head pin with a little silver ball on the top. So just to attach it to the to the tassel. They all take. have very purpose. Oh, you need absolutely. each find, absolutely. and then it is a case of need. Unless mm. you're just creating stretchy bracelets for the rest of your jewelry making life you will need things like jump rings and eye pins and I think it's a bit of a foreign language when you start which is yes, why we yes. all, we give you a free tutorial DVD because what is a jump ring what is a head pin don't even get me started on a jig and a gizmo and wax y cone mm. for goodness sake but, but, but even us guest designers if, if we're short on inspiration we pop on that DVD and it all, you know there's always something that we that we can recall Go, oh, or we've missed yes. and so so we even use it now we even use it now. you must refer to it because you oh, never no, know absolutely. it all you no, no, never no. know it all okay let's get back to business so with an eye pin there's a right way and a wrong way to open it there the is. wrong way is you use your flat nose pliers and you pull directly outwards don't, that is, don't do that that is the wrong way because you've automatically weakened oh. the point in the silver but if you do do it you can snip it off you and re-loop re if it. you want to so we'll take one of our other eye pins here righto so vicky and i when we're doing um eye pin opening it's open the door and closing the door yeah. so i do open the door, door yeah close the door so north and south so we open it north up or down, Up. never out. That's right. So we pop on our tassel. On it goes. And we close it using the, the flat nose pliers. So that is really nicely attached on the bottom there. It couldn't be simpler. We'll pop on. That looks like a, that looks like a witch's broomstick. It does actually, yeah. <laughs> if you're doing if you're doing um, Halloween, Halloween bits, pieces, yes. there's your broomstick, right? Little broomstick earrings. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. let's make broomstick earrings. I can't I wanna do that. Let's make oh, a let's so make excited. a broomstick earring then. So okay. to attach it to the shepherd's to the shepherd's hook earring finding, which <laughs> we've got here, we need to. Um, That's my witch. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our own eye pin. So we take our flat nose pliers, about just under a centimetre from the end, and we turn away. Okay. okay. That doesn't look like a loop though. Where do you go from here? We take our round nose pliers, okay, and we go to the end. It depends on the size of the loop, whereabouts you put. You pop your metal along the round nose pliers, and we just turn once. 
and then we keep turning ever so slowly in little movements and just before we close it we pop on our shepherd's hook and we close up the loop like yes the witch's so. broom earrings and then on if you notice on the little on the shepherd's hook that we have in the kits there will be a slight gap yes and obviously that may fall off so all we do Squinch. is we just we just squeeze it like so so there you have your witch's Yay! broomstick laura we made you a witch's broomstick earring <laughs> Now all you need is a cat. Okay, so if you're, do, if you're doing your kit and you've, you've run out of eye pins, okay, but oh. we want to get the eye pin effect. So, oh. we so we take our head pin. Yes. This is what Ollie was mentioning earlier. And we take, go right to the very end using our wire cutters and just give yeah. it a snip. What about that ball? Is it sterling silver? Should I, should I just chuck it or should no, I no, do no, it? No, 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 keep all, keep all of your little bits and pieces because those, those viewers who do resin and plastic, they can embed those and just give it a bit of extra sparkle. True crafters never chuck never. anything. No, 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 no. Anything. Do you no, know you absolutely. can actually buy scraps of cutouts where you've cut you hearts can. out and stuff? I've got no, loads of it for the can. kids at home. For the funny, quarters. So we've got a piece of metal here we're with nothing either end. So we're going to make our own loop. So we did what we've just done with the earrings here. So we take our flat nose pliers, again, just under a centimetre, turn it away, head for the round nose pliers, and we make the loop at the bottom like so okay and we'll right pop on. on one of these jaspers into the bottom there so automatically we've nearly made an earring already so we need to make this a little bit shorter because we could in fact turn this into a rosary link so we just repeat That's my favorite the pro thing. i love rosary i absolutely love it again about a third of the way along about a third of a cent two thirds of a centimeter <laughs> cut that off and again we take our flat nose pliers i try if i can to go in the same direction that my loops would have been oh, just, just yeah, to make actually, it a bit just I've to make never it a bit even tired. thought of that, Mark, yeah. if I'm honest. So we turn it away again, and then we just make a loop again, like so. And again, we've got that little loop, but we ought to also we still you remember that we need to open it that way always. Now, so there's your rosary link as well. You can yeah. do loads and loads and loads of those on a bracelet. Absolutely, it join them all together. It's my favourite thing actually because. Um, market looks like I've bought it in a shop and I know the no, point of jewellery right, making is right. to make something that you can't buy in a shop nope, but absolutely. sometimes I like that and people go you did not make that and I'm like yes I did because not very often I do things that are quite good that I want to show off so we just want to add a, a bit of a heavier drop to this earring so we do it again so go to the front turn away 90 degrees back to the round nose make the loop and just before we close it we pop on our link that we've just made from the head pin and we close that up nice and tight. So in a space of three minutes there we've made in effect two pairs of earrings straight away including your Yay! little witch's broomstick. Love it, I love it. See let's all wear witch's broom. Are you okay. having a Halloween party? I'm here. I've got to work, this is, this is going to be outrageous. I've got a workshop all day. Yes. And then I'm back in here at five o'clock with Drew for Halloween special in the evening. Brilliant. I wonder. So I don't know how I'm going to find time to, to dress up and because I'm, I'm going to be green. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to be the Hulk. No, no, <laughs> far from it. No, Drew is Drew is going to be Doctor Frankenstein, and I'm going to be the monster because he's he's a lot shorter than I am. So You're I'm going to be, to be green. the monster. Yeah. Frankenstein is the Hulk green, right? Frankenstein's green. Yes. I love Halloween. What am I going to go as? Just myself is scary enough. Now, I'm going to dress the pig up. Oh. As a cat, yeah. Okay. Come on, let's go over to the centre. My mm. poor pig. Poor pig. Now, a uh, poor pig. Now, come on over because I have got those Biwa pearls for you now. I adore these. I think they are truly beautiful. Would you put these in a bracelet or would you put these in a necklace? Mark, would you use them all together? I, I just love the texture that these give. They make a really nice choker, actually. Are you thinking of going to the theatre over Christmas time? You're going to Panto. I love it. I love going to the theatre. Well, you're going to the theatre in a couple yes. of weeks. We have cats uh, for our Panto in Oxford this year, which is amazing. I've seen it quite a few times. I love cats. McCavity, so. McCavity. McCavity, yeah. <gasps> I love cats. That's a d different one for. Yeah, yeah. Now we've got Willow at, our, at Milton Keynes. I don't. Really, I, it's like an hour away, but I'm going to travel. What's his name? Willow. What's his name? Oh. The guy who plays Willow. Oh, this is going to be annoying me. Come on. 
Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis. Can you believe that? Warwick Davis. Like, he's a real celebrity. Anyway, look at these. I do think... I do think that I would put it as a... Ch I do think it's super... Do you know what? I would do it up at the back with that chain. Actually, these go all the way around. Box clasp. What about you, Marky? These are just... Uh, I don't know why I look at peacock pearls and I think about the theatre. Is it because they're all glamorous and very uh, sophisticated? I think you're right. I think you're right. Is, is it that? Because when you go to the theatre, all the ladies are dressed so beautifully, aren't they? And they all look so worldly wise. Drop earrings. Wire wrap these. Go on, tell me what you're going to do. I would put five on a head pin at different angles. Okay. So they'd like like Jenga, stand on top of each other stack, on an earring. Stack, 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 and then stack. I'd intertwine some corresponding colour wire or just a spiral all the way around. I just think they'd look beautiful. Turquoise, turquoise wire on top of the Ooh. B word piles would be beautiful. Is it an earring? Is it a bracelet? Earring. I like that. Now, B were pearls. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, totally natural. And we don't see enough of them by far. We don't see enough no, of them. They're on. Well, they're on a lot. Now, they're peacock colour. Mm. If you are a fan of the Tahitian pearl, which, oh my gosh, who isn't? I love that. I know you watch our sister <laughs> channel, Gems TV, I Mark. It last and night. I know. You just can <laughs> sit there and fall in love with them, can't you? I had it on for four oh. hours last night. Four, four, did you four rewatch hours, it? Yeah. Oh gosh, these really are superbly beautiful. They are very rich, they are very elegant. Brand new today. Peacock pearls, peacock colour do tend to sell out quick. If you don't want to miss out, please do get on the phone lines. Uber quick. 12 by 5 to 30 by 8. What are you going to pay for? Well, these are genuine freshwater pearls. And I know we go too low on our pearls, we really do. Okay, okay, Laura Andrelia. She's poorly. 8.95. You need to get two of these three or four. Again, Mark, these are going to make the most glorious table decorations for your Christmas oh, table. They look beautiful, wouldn't they? Imagine napkin rings. Napkin just, just, rings just would just be elastic, glorious. Just a simple elastic. Or just one of these on some yeah. uh, wire around the napkin. Yep. Beautiful. They're that Christmassy. And then you can put some Christmas green in there. What about this? Hey up. Oh my. Dragonfly wings. Yes, Oliver. Butterfly wings because they are so magical looking. Wonderful idea. If you have been shopping lately and you are just feeling Christmassy, the Christmas stuff is out. It's wonderful. I'm so happy about it. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Look, look at these. They are just heavenly. HEGP01. Loads of you there. There's a big queue on the phone lines. Please bear with you. It's about three minutes long. Do look like these are about to sell out. Ryan, is that your cough back that I hear? Brilliant. <laughs> Let's all rejoice. Ryan's ill again. Now, are you all right, darling? Shall I get you a Barocca? No, no, other iridescent drinks are available, such as Alka Seltzer and Summer. Summer, I don't. <laughs> it's time to look at your gorgeousness on the Wall of Fame. <coughs> Chloe's giving me a dirty look. <laughs> she went. <laughs> <laughs> you can't table. hide, we've got an overhead <laughs> camera. Why are you crawling on the floor for? <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you oh, what. Dear. Now, um, actually, I just came over now wow. and went, oh, a starfish. Oh my gosh, it's skulls. This it's is incredible. just great. Incredible, absolutely incredible. I love. <laughs> What's Chloe doing? doing now? <laughs> She's eating the biscuit crumbs off the floor, isn't she? Let's have oh, a look. There. Okay, this is just <laughs> absolutely incredible. This is number 279. I love these skulls. Isn't it just... And this is from Naz Hutchings, 
and now says, hi, this is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's all made with Jewelry Maker products. Stop uh, a minute, stop. Can you just see these skulls? Jewelry Maker products. This, made this is, this is what confused me this morning. I had to take a second glance because... These are made from silver clay, we all need them. The They're skulls amazing. are made from a metal clay starter kit. Very easy to use, I love it. Oh, I love it too. Still giggling whilst writing as the amazing Jenny Oh, I'll pay you later. Has just chucked a tube of appetite everywhere. <laughs> Is that what you mentioned earlier? I did do that. Love oh, that woman. And please tell Vicky more animal impressions as your expressions are priceless. Good luck, everyone. And that's from Naz Hutchins. Naz, Absolutely I love incredible you work. too. I love you too. Beautiful. But this. Whew, how did you do that? Did she make an impression of something? Must have been from a mould, yeah. Wow. It's beautiful. I think that. And then we got more of that as yes. well. Good grief. Have wow. a look at this. Look at these butterflies. Look at the garn the garnet one drops. Of those talks. Yeah. Have you done one of those yet? No. Aren't they beautiful? 282, good grief. Leslie from Bury says, Dear all at JM, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a collar piece made from gold plated wire and garnet with gold and obsidian butterfly shapes. I love them. Uh, all from JM, of course. It's very easy to wear as it does not have um any fastening, so it sits really comfortably on the collarbone. I love all the fancy carved stones you have, which give me lots of inspiration. I am so looking forward to Laura Binding's course on the 5th of October, which I'm attending. Yay, we can't wait to meet you and Shirley. Uh, she's coming with her friend Shirley. I am sure that you will give me even more inspiration. Thanks again to Lucy and Sheila for all the fun. Uh, my friend Venetia and I had last Sunday on the experience. I know, Venetia, yes. Especially over the cake war. Oh, well, listen, if you bring cake in, there's going to be a cake war here, <laughs> mainly between Ryan and whoever's holding the cake. Number 282, you're fabulous. Thank you. Okay. Wow, I love it. You must do I metal know, I know, clay. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I must, I must. You must. Okay. Next Anybody out there thinking, mm, I'm serious now, you've got to give it a go. It's wonderful. Okay, okay. Next one I have is number 280, and this is from Sally Ann. In Eversham. That's Evesham. near, I'm, well, I'm from Chatham, so Evesham, Evesham we go to yes, all the time. Yes. Good swimming. Hi, gang. I watched you most days, and you all make my day and put a smile on my face. I'm spending far too much time, so I need to win a wall of fame so I can carry on buying. I just got the clay set copper and bronze, and this oh, is my wonderful. first attempt. Many thanks, and that's Sally from Evesham. Wonderful, Beautiful. Sally. Just wonderful. Now, sorry, Silks. <laughs> Again, Incredible. another wonderful new medium to put into your jewellery. Absolutely fantastic. Number 283 is from Jessica in Rotherham. And Jessica says, another wall of fame inspired by Linda. Isn't she wonderful? Uh, using the lovely Sari Silk, already working on my next wall of fame with a bit of Halloween theme. Ooh, way up. I am excited about Halloween. Uh, any chance of some Halloween -y gems and colours? I do keep saying A up, don't I? I don't know why, where I got it from. A up. A up. I did, it's because I watched an episode of Coronation Street and I haven't seen it for ages and I was just l listening to the accents. <laughs> and Fizz, Fizz, what happened to Fizz? She's half the size. It's a little, it's a little boy who had the Great Dane. I don't know. Well, he called Schmeichel. Yeah, what was the little boy? Um, I, yeah, Chesney. Chesney. Oh, I like Chesney, I do. Uh, from Jessica. Jessica. Um, yeah, we need more Halloween y colours, it's true. Mm. You could make your own Halloweeny moulds, though, couldn't you? Paula McClay, go for Paula McClay if you want Halloweeny colours. This is just beautiful. Well done, Jess. It's absolutely fab. And you're number 283. So, you know the Russian diopside, that beautiful strand? Mm. Oh, must have. Limited edition strand. It's coming up for you after the break and is not to be missed. It's going under £50. Buying jewellery online from us has just become even easier with our new streamlined checkout service. We've made some little changes to make our website more accessible for all of the different ways you shop online, and now it's even easier using a mobile phone or tablet. Once you have added your items to your shopping basket, you can decide to check out now or save for later. Saving an item for later means you can easily find them in your own time, but don't forget to check back soon as all our items are selling fast. One of just a few changes that will make buying jewellery from us even easier. 
here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, we are happy to announce that our studio store is now open. If you attend any of our courses, you can now browse through special items, get exclusive discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Become an exclusive customer at the studio store. For more information on available courses and dates, please contact our call center. The new studio store. The experience just got better. Jury Maker is part of the Genuine Gemstone Company for a reason. If we're going to offer you gemstones, then they have to be genuine. But the only way we can guarantee that is by getting a lab test. This guarantees that you're going to get genuine gemstones. And that's exactly what you deserve. If you love classic jewellery, then why not come and join guest designer Gemma Crow on our vintage workshop. Gemma will guide you through various beading and wirework techniques, which will inspire you to create timeless designs from a bygone era. The full course includes a selection of wire, a selection of findings and charms, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools and equipment, a buffet lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a visit to our gemstone museum. All of this for just $69.95. Have a blast from the past and take home some amazing designs. For further information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewellery Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. From Russia, with love, a collector's choice strand of Russian diopside. I'm about to give to you the finest strand of Russian diopside that we have ever had the pleasure to bring you here at Jewelry Maker. When we look at Russian diopside, we're looking at richness of color and it's 100% natural. It's makeup, including chrome gives it this wonderful vibrance now emeralds are often treated in some way or another to give them a better color to give them to fill them out to get rid of any of the scratches or anything like that now we don't need to do that with Russian diopside because Russian diopside is naturally exquisite and so they dub this gemstone Russian diopside everything an emerald wants to be because when you go to the mine, this is the colour that you see. Strikingly beautiful. This is a gemstone that can only be mined for three months in the year because for the rest of the year, the mine is frozen over and the roads to the mine are frozen over. Here is the mine during mining season. When the, when the roads are open, that is working, can, can you imagine? So right about now, the mines are closing. This is going to be a considered purchase, but it most certainly is the finest strand of Russian diopside we have ever seen. This is the creme de la creme, a strand of utter royalty as far as gemstones are concerned here a jewellery maker. Have a look at that. Incredibly beautiful. Striking colour. Now not everybody is going to get these. They are exclusive. This is a limited edition strand. Less than 60 were ever made. So not everyone's going to get to own these. What about a gold gizmo coil in between each one? What about putting one of these as a pendant.
could this be a profit maker for you if you're using them in that way, if you're using them individually? Have you seen that Cartier piece? Have you seen that Tiffany & Co piece? Have you seen that Bulgari piece? This is a gemstone that in the coloured gemstone world reigns supreme for its striking qualities. A gemstone that is unmistakable against any other. You've got to get these in your life if you want the most exclusive strand of Russian diopside. Here it is. Like I said, this is just for the high-end jewellery maker. This is just for you if you're creating luxury. Now, I would ordinarily be giving you a price tag of around £70 for a strand like this. They are extremely hard to get hold of. They are wonderfully exclusive. This is a gemstone that can only be mined for three months in the year. The most beautiful, regal strand I've got to put it up against my neckline again because I just think it looks the most amazing necklace. I want you to think royalty now. I want you to think Kate Middleton now. I want you to think Princess Diana. I want you to think striking gemstones. I want you to think expensive locations. Very posh. Very exclusive. The theatre strand, the restaurant strand, the getting taken out and treated like an absolute goddess strand. This is utter luxury. From the collector's choice to your jewellery designs. Treat them sparingly, keep them in your collection for your personal jewellery maybe. Or they're going for that special commission. Like I said, not everybody is going to be able to afford these, but if you can, if you're the jewellery maker that's got to have everything, if you're the Joan Collins of jewellery making, then this is your strand. An absolute diva of a strand of £49.95. Now these are limited and they are approaching limited stock. We have got a very small amount left at £49.95. Most of our stock has gone over. Half of the stock has been allocated. MBG Z05 is your item code. 30 carats of Russian diopside. Now, high-end collections. Maybe it's a special commission. Maybe it's that exclusive customer that you've got. Maybe you've got a celebrity customer. I would mix them with pearls and pretty much not a massive amount else. They really are a strand that you've got to treat high-end. You've got to treat as special. Absolutely striking. $49.95, these have gone limited. You need to check out baskets if you're shopping online. 0800 644 655. Gentleman buyer has bought three of these. Perhaps you're a jeweler. Sometimes I've got a jeweler friend called Ryan who's got a... Um, his own jewellers in Cheltenham, in, uh, in, in Montpellier in Cheltenham, and he is absolutely flabbergasted when we bring you gemstones like this because these are gemstones that he has to go to conventions to get. And when I tell him, oh, yeah, Russian, I can get you Russian up, no, no, you can't, not the type. And then he watched and he said, I cannot believe it. Do you know that jewellers, a lot of jewellers, of course, aren't even aware of us, jewellers absolutely fighting tooth and nail to get these kinds of gemstones into their exquisite, exclusive collections. For anyone who appreciates very fine gemstones, this is your strand. For £49.95, we have gone limited. Well done to everybody that's got this. I just can't wait to see what you've created. This is for a special birthday gift. Wow. Now I'm going to give to you. Wow, Laura, I can't believe we had that strand. Do you know, for anywhere less than £70, when I know the price tag, isn't that wonderful? Well done. Now, this little bundle on my right has... Good, good afternoon, Ben. Hello. How are you today? I'm very well. How are you? Good, good. Now... I'm going to give to you, Ben joining us on cameras, everybody. I'm going to give to you your foam mat. Mark, talk to me about... Now, this is essential because if you did see me, like Naz said in the Wall of Fame, opened up my gemstones, went Poof! everywhere on Saturday. Now, that could have been extremely avoided, Mark, had I have had this. this essential or what? What well, I've got at home um, is... I've got one of those foam mats and with a black marker pen... Yes, what have you done, sir? I have drawn a grid 
Oh. But only horizontally, so it's not a series of lines in effect. Okay. And then that helps to, um, and if you're doing bracelets, if you haven't got your, your bracelet board or your beading board, and just, just offer the, the beads up against that foam mat with all the lines across the different measurements. So they're measurements. straight? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. I do like a spongy, and, and mm. also if you're needle felting, perhaps this would be a good addition. Um, fabulous felt. You haven't just got that, by the way. I'm a bit obsessed with this. It's all squidgy. Oh, and it's velvety on the other side. Now, um, you've also got your helping hands. We've got Graham up there. Look. Have a look. You've named it Graham. I, I name most things Graham. Yes. Oh. Have a look at Graham. There he is. Look at him showing off his snippy fingers. He's like Edward Scissorhands, but more holding than cutting. Now. You've got look, what what Graham gives you is the <laughs> magnifying glass. He's more yeah, Edward says that I always fancied him. Thought it was a bit wrong. Now have a look. Because you've also got your tool rest. Now this is again a scent. You've got to have it. You've got to have it. If you want now, Mark, you're a man. You're a man of absolute order. You have to have order. No two ways about it. So I can guarantee you've got at least one of these. Two. I knew you'd yeah, have more than one. <laughs> I have cutting and manipulating. Cutting and manipulating? Yeah. So on one I've got all my cutters. So yeah. my memory wire cutters, um, ordinary wire cutters. And then on the other one, I've got my round nose pliers. So anything that you move metal with is on the other one. And this is the one you're using on your desk right now. Yes. You don't get the yeah. tools with yours. Yeah. Or do you? Yes, you do. <laughs> Now I'm going to give you our traditional toolkit. Oh, I'm not done. I know it's good, isn't it? I'm not done there, my little darlings. Oh, yeah, I got it upside. Never mind. Uh, you've got your snipe nose, your round nose, and your snips. And you've got your snips, and you've got your tweezers, your scoop, your reamer, and you've got your bead box, all in a lovely case. Sometimes these can cost you individually. So, so far, you've got your rest, Graham, helping hands, you got your spongy board, essential, but that's not everything. Addition one, two, and three of your beading projects and basics. So it starts with the basics, and then you go to the project. Now these are four ninety-five on their own. So just a little bit, what fourteen pounds and something there, aren't they? So these are fourteen pounds and something. How much is this bundle going to be again, Laura? So let's let's do something. Let's buy the DVDs, shall we? And get everything else. For, for about 30p. Uh, you need to be on the phone lines right now if you don't want to miss out on this ridiculous deal. Your jewellery making toolkit, eight pieces. Your helping hands, Graham, I like to call him. Your tool dock. You've got an A4 foam mat. Beading Projects Edition 1, 2 and 3. If you're new to jewellery making or if you want to replenish or if your best friend needs to start jewellery making with you because you just want her there because it's so much more fun when there's more than one of you involved. It is good to have a friend, isn't it, uh, in, involved in your hobby. Great Christmas gift. How about you buy the DVDs and you get everything else for 30p? Good deal, Mark, good deal. Brilliant deal. <laughs> Pretty brilliant deal. Yeah. 14.95. I'll take that. Thank you very much. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Thinking of Christmas gifts now. Perfect. Anyone who's crafty but haven't joined you in jewelry making, you know what to do. Maybe you need everything else but not the DVDs. Give the DVDs as a gift. 14.95. This is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What exactly would the two, what's 495 times three exactly? 1485. 1485. So you're getting it for 10p. No, stop. So you're getting everything. I said 30p because I'm stupid. 10p. 10p. <laughs> two and a, come on, two and a half p an element. I mean, this is ridiculous. How are we making any money? Of course not. <gasps> Cass, is that brand new? No, look what she's got. They've just come down. They've just come out of the warehouse. Stay there, stay there. Don't peek, Ben, that's cheating. Don't you cheat. Ben tried to give you a little camera angle. Don't cheat, Ben. Keep your eyes closed. Tell me, Laura, these have never been to air before, ever. 
I've never seen them in the reels. Have you seen them in the reels? Have you seen them in the reels? And they sold out. We had them on the trade show, I think. Now these ones are new colours. These yes, are new colours, have, never those, seen uh, before no, colours. No, no, we had the pastels and the neons, I think. Oh my God. These are gonna sell out. You need to be on the phone lines now. So we're doing these individually, are we? Is what you're saying. We're doing the whole bundle. The ones we did before, <gasps> the ones we did before were individual. These ones we're doing as a pack. And they're new, never been seen before. Oh my gosh, they smell incredible. This is leather suede. You have to have these. How much do you get on each reel then? Unbelievable. I'm just going to give this to Cass. These are brand new. Never seen before. Ten meters on each reel. Sometimes it's not one, it, it mainly is one continuous length, but sometimes there might be two lots in one, so it might be two lots of five meters on the reel. Fine, fine. Fine. Now, Marky, 10 meters, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110. 110 meters of suede. I love these colors. I'm not just going to use these for my jewelry making. I'm not just going to make the overhead necklaces, the earrings, the fringing pieces. I'm going to make homeware pieces out of this as well. Again, making something fabulous. Curtain tie backs with gemstones. Absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic look at all of these colors these are normally just under two pounds each on their own which is incredible may I add <laughs> tell me why tell me how you've how you've come to that conclusion well we, we I, I mentioned this on the on the show quite often that um Sometimes we have, we have a bit of a drought with our threading materials, and unfortunately... Not just sometimes, Mark. No, unfortunately, <laughs> I have to buy them from elsewhere. OK. And, and, and leather suede can go anything from 50 pence to 150 a metre, depending on thickness and colour. And quite rightly, let's yes, think yes. about what leather suede is, mm. in fact, and quite rightly so. Just like you'd pay more for a leather shoe. I mean, leather is expensive. A leather jacket, expensive. The thing we look at when we see leather and suede is expensive. It's the light bulb that goes off. Now, you should be paying £21 for all of this. But today, you are not paying anywhere near £21. These will sell out. You've got to be on the phone lines quickly. And if you don't want, like Mark just said to you, these sell out over and over again. We have droughts, massive droughts of cord. These are just wonderful. Shambhala style bracelets, friendship bracelets, fringing, embellishing. Soutache, did you see that Soutache that, um, yes. that Sarah Elvin did with this? There's so many of you on the phone lines. Let's give you a price tag. Now at 12 95 <laughs> The numbers are round the wrong way. She got the numbers right, wrong way. No, never mind, Laura. Twelve ninety-five. They're supposed to be twenty-one pounds. Talk to me, Mark. I know well, you're saying that individually you've been paying ever such a lot more. Yeah, absolutely. But for twelve ninety-five, would you expect to find how many reels would you buy for twelve ninety-five elsewhere? Gosh, two or three if you're lucky. I would have thought. Three because, if you're yeah. lucky. Because in the past, you've only been able to get it in meter lengths. So now to Indeed. have either five They're or ten. Or ten that's ten that's meters. Fantastic. No, that's really good. I mean, this really <laughs> is incredible, Mark. Incredible. And what beautiful colours you've got. So, Shambhala Goddess. I, if you saw, where's Sarah Elvin's Soutash piece gone? It's amazing. You need to see it. Anyway, we're going to try and find She also made some beautiful earrings to go with. If, you, if we can't find it, go and have a look at um, on our Facebook. Sarah Elvin is coming up with some brilliant designs at the moment. Um, now, do, we all get this, we get this rush of amazing, she had a holiday, she's come back, wow is all I can say. Big inspirations. Now, friendship bracelets are everywhere, everywhere Mark. What is, why do you need these? What's your first port of call? I think now it would be the wraparound bracelet, which I, which I did yes, a couple yes. of weeks ago. Uh -huh. um, that would be absolutely perfect with this. Absolutely well, it's amazing. the right material, it's the exact yeah. material for it. Yeah. 
And you've got a nice range of gents colours in amongst that bundle as well. Oh, of nice. course. You've got everything in here. Yeah. And I just, I, it looks wonderful plaited. Mm. Also, Sarah Alvin did the four strand plait. Do you remember? Was it, no, it wasn't Sarah. Was it Sarah or was it Gemma that did the four? Over, under, over, that under. That was Natalia. Oh, it was mm. Natalia. Gorgeous mm. Natalia. Mm. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Love it all. There are so many of you on the phone lines. How many has gone? What percentage? Loads. Laura just went, whoa! <laughs> About or approaching 60% gone and sold out. And we had loads of these. It's a brand new bundle. Never seen before. You must act fast. If you're experiencing engaged toes on the phone lines, please hang yes. up your call. Redial, redial. Keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Mark, is this the first <laughs> thing you're going to buy when you come off air today? If there's any left. There won't be, says Laura. Laura was very matter of fact then. There won't be. <laughs> there won't be any left. Everyone's there. Look at this. 1295. I love that you're getting this. I'm just thinking it's so good to make Christmas presents now. Everybody in my immediate circle of adult friends is getting rhubarb vodka for Christmas. I bet your children would love to have that. I thought you were going to say, like, no, I'm not feeding them chip <laughs> vodka. We'd love something like that for Christmas. They, friendship makes us they love. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I told you, didn't I? We went on, uh, we went on a holiday and mm. Max spent 70 euros yeah. on friendship blinking bracelets. Macrame ones mostly. I was like, Max, listen, I can go to work and get you lots of these. Do you really want... He's like, he didn't care. You know, because you tell them they can spend their, their yeah. birthday... Um, Holiday money on what they want, that is it. Don't tell me, you told me I could spend it on what I wanted and I knew you'd take over. So you've just got to let them do it. <laughs> Fine, go on, off you go. Don't come to me when you want one of them giant ice creams and waffles. No, which he did and I bought them for him. Anyway, um, <laughs> you need to be checking out baskets for these. I'm gonna give to you. Are they all gone? Very, very, very small quantity left. I'll keep you updated. Now, ah, oh. I think now, Mark, and I know you're <laughs> with me on this. The most understated gemstone we have here at Jewelry Maker. This this bundle is gorgeous. Have a look at this. So let's check out these little beauties here. Yes, yeah. Now, oh, do you think it looks like black moonstone? It's like. It does, um, when the moon's really dark and you've got a really cloudy sky and then the clouds just quickly sort of scamper past the moon. This is some of the nicest I've seen. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Look at the iridescence. Wow. You can't argue with that, can you? You can see what... Else. If you've never used golden obsidian, you have to get it. You absolutely must, must get it. Now, look at this. I've got two strands and they're so wonderful. I don't know which one to show you first. I'm going to show you this one, I think, because we have nothing like it. Look at this. <sighs> Tourmalated quartz, which means to you and I, rutilated quartz. Rutile quartz, the inclusions, in fact, did you know that rutile quartz inclusions are tourmaline? That's what quartz. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Look at that, what a wonderful color combination. I want you to see something. Look at this. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I want to use these separately, Mark. I love them, these two together. Mm. I tell think, me, tell right me there. what you think. Yeah, I think you're right, absolutely. It's good to have a bundle where I'm saving them because I want all three of these. What are you thinking? I can see your little little design of mine boggling away there. I, I'm just flabbergasted by that obsidian. I just, I, I haven't seen anything this good. I've oh. seen that strand once before and I knew I had to have it as the minute I saw it and I haven't made anything out of it yet, but I'm thinking earrings, mm. but I kind of want to put it in a ring because I want to look at it all the time. All the time. Because that's the thing about earrings, you can't. Now, there's lots of... And remember, it's 1 p.m. all day. You've been shopping so much with us this morning already. Three feature gemstones. Three feature gemstones. 
for less than five pounds each at 14.95 this is a wonderful wonderful opportunity when you want a gemstone that gives you that optical wow factor you've got it with all three of these We have still available your suede cord. Fourteen ninety five. Wow. Now, wow. Absolute wow factors. Look, I, I'm just looking at those. A goddess bracelet would look just stunning with those. I'm thinking suede cord with the goddess, with the goddess style bracelet and these lovely bling bling mystic, mystic coated. Now, these are very Christmassy. Oh, yes. Now, I would like you, Ben, to uh, do, because you were, of course, Macaulay Culkin when you were younger. <laughs> As you can see, looks exactly like him. So we are going to recreate Jewelry Maker Alone. Okay. Um, okay. I'm going to have to lose the button. Ah! Oh. We're going to have an actual series of it. Say, you guys give up or you're thirsty for more? <laughs> it's him. Uncanny. It was better when it was blonde. Yeah, you're going to have to. At Christmas time, you have to be blonde. I will. I will. Because you are. Everyone's going to call you Kevin at Christmas. Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> now. Have a look, beading thread. Love this colour. Have you got the beading thread DVD? Have you got the beading thread DVD, Mark? Yep. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. Whoa! Uh, the beading thread DVD. Oh, if you haven't got it, I've got it for you here. Now, Gemma Crow did the beading thread workshop last week. Oh my gosh, you should have seen what everyone was. Adventures with beading thread. We so use I've it on my DVD. workshop as well. You're using it in your workshop, beading thread? Beading thread macrame, yep. Yeah. You, yes, of course, it's important for mm. macrame. Mm. It's really great with, um, the Lazy Daisy, it's wonderful for crochet. Beading thread is fabulous. Now, gone are the days before you came to us here, Marky. Mm -hmm. We first sort of started. You used to hide, it, it would be how to hide beading thread. You do this, that, and the other. No, celebrate beading thread, it's wonderful. It's silky, it's fabulous, it's in these colors. Have you, what about our aluminium jump rings? Have you seen all the colors you can get? Wouldn't it be wonderful, Mark, to make a macrame bracelet out of a colored thread and then add the matching colored aluminium jump ring? Perfect. I love all these colours. Very. Can I use these for Christmas packaging? Can I ribbon these? Can I make them curl? You can. You'd be you know, drawing the scissors up through them. Can I gizmo coil this or not? No. Will it not stay? You just. You can make such wonderful, wonderful things with this. Now, all of these colours. If you were shopping in a bead shop, if you were shopping in that big craft store, you'd be paying. I think a lot more than this. The quality is incredible. The DVD on its own is four ninety-five. You've got the wire. All of these colours, Mark. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Nine ninety-five. How many macrame bracelets could I make? Oh is this a good deal? Deal up the colours. Tell me everything you know, Marky, about this. You can bundle. make twenty-five bracelets out of a reel. One reel equals 25 yeah. bracelets. You don't have to have gemstones on macrame. No, 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 no absolutely. Do you remember the, um, the technique that we do where we have the satin rings around, Of course I around, remember around, it, I love it. It works beautifully with beading thread because it's rigid. You get that, you get the, 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 you know, the rounds, you get the circles, it's beautiful. 
I just want to say, mm -hmm. you make 250 bracelets out of this. How much would you sell a non-gemstone bracelet for? Non-gemstone? Yeah, because I just want to think about profits from this. Three to five pounds. Okay, about three, so four quid. Okay, four yeah. times 250 is a thousand pounds. That's without, by the way, you've only paid a tenner and you get the DVD as well. It's a no-brainer. And this, this is really important that when you see this, you get it because it goes and we t it takes forever to come back again. I, I absolutely vouch for that, yeah, Mark. Yeah. So many people saying, I want colour beading thread. You just got, mm. you've got to get it when you see it. 9.95, you're seeing it. Get it, grab it, get, twi get it twice over. Now, still to come. Oh, have a look at this. Gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. Droplets of deep, rich amethyst. They're gorgeous. Now, we're going to do a recap because we are about to sell out of our suede cord. I thought, do you know what? I've got to be really honest with you. I thought this was suede because it is that near to it. It just looks exact. It looks, you saw it on the graphics and information, it says, um, sorry, uh, uh, but I, I could, st I would put, I would put money on this being swayed. I would put my own money on this being swayed. I'd put Mark's money on it as well. But I would have lost your money. There's only a few still available. You are getting wonderful colours, wonderful value. And you're getting 10 metres of each. AGG, I love that green and that yellow together. It looks like Jules. You know Jules, the country shop. <laughs> Look. Oh, Ryan. You're so city. Look. Mm, this is so soft as well. Look, these are country colours I love. I love those. They're only 12 95 Oh, I just love them. Your suede at cord, twelve ninety five. Now we've only got a few of these left, so please act fast. I don't want anyone missing out. I don't want anyone missing out. Nothing for nothing. Now. <laughs> now. We're gonna. I love that cord. We're gonna go to. Do 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 do. Should we do? Let's. Have we got a? Have we got a? What happened to that crown that Gemma made, by the way? Things are going missing. Things are going missing in jewelry maker towers. <laughs> now, have a look. Because you've got your hair bands. Great for tip. Now, Mark, mm. do you? Do, I know you're scared of brides, <laughs> but <laughs> Mark's scared of brides. Have a look. Like Hannah Roxbury's scared of children. Bride. Ah! Now, <laughs> I think most men are scared of brides. <laughs> Mark, I don't think you're a man. <laughs> Have a look at these. <laughs> so you've got five of each. These can be really expensive. If you want to create a tiara, greatest way to do it. A fascinator, wonderful. Five hair combs in gold. Five hair combs in silver. If you're unsure of how to use them, grab our Tiara's DVD. Fascinated in Tiara's DVD, it's 4 95 Here's everything that you get. Now, Laura Androlios, who is my producer, not only is Italian, but she also is a wedding jewellery designer. Now, Laura Androlios, how much do you sell? <laughs> you, ha you have your own website, don't you? You did before you started. Uh, do you not do that anymore? Are we too busy? You still do it. Okay. How much is a tiara? Yeah, what do you, what's your ballpark figure for a tiara? 50 pounds. Your cheapest tiara is 50 pounds. What's your most expensive? Over 200 pounds. Okay. And do you, tell me how you market yourself. 
Tell me everything, because if I'm out there and I'm a jewelry maker now, I want to do bridal, because I think a lot of girls do want to do bridal, don't they? Start off going round to the wedding shops, says Laura. If you're using gem new and gemstones, you'll, it'll make you stand out from people who use the gra glass and acrylics. Oh, Laura said, the thing is, you are going to be selling at the same price that people sell glass and acrylics, so they will choose you every time, every time. Wow, Laura. And do you do wedding fairs and things like that? You know how you can go around like big exhibitions and stuff? Yes, yes, she does. Absolutely. Always stock up for that kind of thing, says Laura. Now, you sh you'll be doing your own wedding jewellery soon, Laura. Ah, Gigi, C55. Are you ready? Sorry, I just had a psychic thing he's going to ask you at Christmas time. Now, oh, I hope he's not watching. Don't tell him I told you because it'll stop my prediction. Sometimes I've got to keep them to myself so I can change the future, Laura. Now, are you ready? Oh, Laura, what if he came to Jewelry Maker and did it and disturbed the show? <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be brilliant? A live proposal. I'd love it. That would be perfect. Now, all of this, if you're going to go to Laura's wedding, like I am, <laughs> then uh, you need to get this bundle. RGG C55. Twenty elements. Now Gemma Crow told me that she gets two of these in that craft store when we run out for about eight ninety-five. Look at all of this that you've got for seven ninety-five. Wow. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. All the W's dot jewelrymaker dot com. The hair jewelry essentials. Whether you're making tiaras, whether you're making fascinators, whether it's just little pretty hair combs for the bridesmaids. These are perfect. Doesn't have to be bridal. We all have a hair comb. Christmas time. <gasps> Stop, stop. Antlers. Antlers. How else am I going to attach? How else am I going to attach my antlers? Wirework antlers make it happen. I want antlers. Big ones. Me and the pig. Shall I bring the pig in? <laughs> if only I could pick the pig up, I would bring him in. He's, he's so cute, but hates being picked up, so I'm not sure how I would transport him. With a lead. No, he won't. He, if you put a collar on him, he goes mad. And I try to harness mad. He hates it. It literally sounds like somebody is killing someone. And my neighbours came round to check everybody was all right because you could hear these screaming. Like, unbelievable, like a human scream. Anyway, if you know, short of sedating him, I don't know how to get him in. And I'm not going to do that to him. Could you lure him with us? You don't, it, no, all you do if you want him to come to you is go, He's a piggy rascal. Pig, pig, pig. And then he goes <laughs> and comes over and wags his little tail. It does help we've got a pear in your hand. Don't look at me like I'm mad. Oh, no, no, we're, we're, we're as bad as home. Now, now that um, everything in the garden is starting to die back, we've let the pigs out, guinea pigs we've got, in our back garden. So they've got free run of the garden now. And they, Don't and the they, cats go for them? No, 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 they never have done. They live and in they, harmony. And they pickle out of the, of the back gate. They go along the side of the house and they, if we're out in the front, they come along and potter around and... You've got and to the, be careful of neighbouring cats. Well, they're quite, they're quite chunky and we're always around. Ah, the vicious guinea pig. Yes. Now, <laughs> I love... Have you got one of the ones with crazy hair? No, 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 no. we've got two smooths. We used to have guinea yeah. pigs. Albert I and love Stanley. them. They're so cute. This will be perfect. But I did that face because Laura just told me how much these were going to be. I just love purple and gold together. What is it? Is it Egyptian? Is it? What is it? What's purple and gold? It just feels so regal. So it's right. It's very regal, isn't it? You know, we had that um, Wall of Fame entrant who'd been to Warwick Castle and seen all these oh, yes. wonder. Honestly, the Henry VIII ex exhibitions and things. Honestly, I love that. I love the. I love the. Um, the costume, 
don't you know, the, the Tudor times and things like that, I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and I love things like Downton Abbey and period dramas and this is so rich and very typical of a regal sort of colour, isn't it? Well, purple, of course, was a regal colour. Purple, green, red, they were the most expensive dyes back in those um, times and so a way to show off your wealth would be to wear those colours. Usually only the gentry that could, could have purple. But now anyone can. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Well, if you bought that gold chain for eleven ninety-five, you've got a treat. Gorgeous drops of fabulous amethyst. Now, Mark, you're a big fan of amethyst, aren't you? Well, I love the colour. First of all, it's my birthstone, which helps. February. And, um, and before jewellery maker, I had no idea that it, it came in other colours other than purple. So you know, you've got green and you've got the pink now. I'm with but, you, actually. But you can't go wrong with. And this is a really deep, rich colour, isn't it? Beautiful. Isn't it lovely now that we get yeah. all of the variations of purple? And if you saw those rough cut um, amethysts mm. we had on Saturday, you'll see the variant of colour just from the geodes. And it's wonderful that you take from a certain part of that to get certain strands. And, and you must think about uh, the journey each gemstone goes on. There's not just one or two people involved in, in mining these gemstones. There are lots of people involved. And this is a genuine gemstone. I always think with amethyst, you've got a gemstone that is easily recognized straight away. People recognize amethyst, don't they? They know about it, they understand it, they're familiar with it. And so it's a gemstone that, that actually I think it's going to be a big seller for you because, and I think you gain trust with the gemstone like amethyst and rose quartz because people think, ah, oh, yeah, 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 I know that, I've seen it, you know. I think you can make something very simple here with a, a ball head pin, a nice ball, a gold ball head pin through the centre, make a loop. It could be as simple as a droplet on a chain, or it could be some earrings, you know, because it's such a striking deep colour. Now, ordinarily, I'd be giving you this strand at twelve ninety-five. You saw my open jaw earlier. I'll tell you why. HDGP43. <laughs> you know what? It's just a little bit of a sneaky treat for you. Even though you're creating jewelry that you're going to sell for Christmas time now, maybe, maybe you're making major profits, I don't know. Uh, what a glorious strand for a very low price. Like anywhere below a tenner is fantastic. HDGP43 is your item code. Well done to everyone that's got theirs. It is so lovely to have your company here at Jewelry Maker. We love and adore you. Please don't be put off by the cues. Keep trying. Oh, Cass, jelly on a plate. Jelly on a plate. Look at Cass. Wibble wobble. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> right, when? What you talking about? Hang on. How many have I got? Is this two times? <gasps> these should be to end. Now, Mark, have you got these? Because I reckon these will look great on your shelf. Even if you're not using them, I just think they look good. Uh, my mum's got them. I bought them for my mother. For Joan? For Joan. Well Hello, remembered. Hello, Joan. Yes, yeah, she'll be watching. I don't forget yeah, Joan. Yes, and um, no, still haven't bought hers. Joan in, by the way. Sorry? No, I still haven't, have I? Joan's Mark's oh. mum, of course. You've got to bring her in. Who's Joan? Oh, that's his mum, of course. Come on, Laura. Where have you been? She's going, I'm sorry. Have a look. Gosh, you get ever such a lot. Laura, you spoiler. Oh, stop. Oh, stop. Look at all of this. <laughs> wow. Wow factor 10. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, there's not enough room. Move up, boys. Actually, they're girls, aren't they? Do you remember they? right at the beginning of the show, uh, I mentioned the fact that we can't do any intricate macrame on the show because of the time element. Yes. The work that I am seeing on Facebook at the moment from people who are doing micro macrame with these threads is unbelievable. I love it is the most skinny macrame. stunning work I think I've ever seen. And it's, it's, it's absolutely phenomenal what you can do with these threads. It's just amazing. They go such a long way. Mm. What's Joan doing with hers? She is plaiting and using it as macrame cords and also to make she does a bit of wire work pendant as well so she uses oh, one, yes. she, and kumahimo for kumahimo she loves because it makes really nice nice thin dainty cords yeah it does doesn't it yeah. and again do you know curtain tie backs for kumahimo yeah. is great yeah. Yeah. in the gold 
Now look at all of this. It, do you know this is great for haberdashery as well as anything yeah, else? So if right. you are looking for for reels of nylon thread, look at all of this. I mean, will you ever run out, Mark? Will you ever run out? It'll go on and on, won't it? Get yourself on the phone lines, my little jewellery making love buns. 0800 644 655. Or you can shop, of course, online. You've got all these wonderful colours the green, the orange, the purple, the black, the white, the gold, the blue, the red, and the pink. Is that everything? The silver. Oh, there's ever such a lot. You get loads. What about, Mark, if you're doing wire work Christmas tree? Now, I did not meet. Is it Alison? Yes. I am desperate to meet this lady because look, as if I don't need these on my Christmas tree. <laughs> Alison, if you're watching, I will buy these off you for Christmas. Now, what about using the cord on the end of things like this to put on your Christmas tree, Mark? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. <gasps> Aren't they beautiful? Do you think Alison's what watching? Yes. Do you think Alison would make, yes. if I buy them, how much would, oh, Alison, please Facebook will she, will me. Will she notice if I borrow them? Yes, she will. No, no, I, I don't want to borrow them. I want to buy them. I want her, I want her right. to make me lots of them for my Christmas tree. I love, I think oh, they're wait. amazing. Do you think she can do peacocks as well? Oh, she'd love to do you a peacock. If you're watching, Alison, I think you're fantastic. Did you see what she made me as a present? I did see it and I'm going to show everybody. We'll, show, we'll, we'll give yep, everybody yep. the price for this and then we'll, and then I want to see what else Alison has done. All of this gorgeousness. TIGC 13, look at the colours and we're going to give you a wonderful price tag. You could buy two for £20 or you could buy two for £14.95. Save yourself some money today if you've got an open basket. Even though there's reams and reams and reams of this. We're only going to charge you two ninety five for PMP because we love you. Let's have a look, Mark, here at that. I just think out. Did she make these on set? Now this is just beautiful, sweet peas. She's wonderful, isn't she wonderful? Now we're just giving you a quick show. We're just giving you a quick show. Um, I've got to let you know that these are very popular. This is a very, very, very popular deal. Well done to everybody that's got those. Yes, you're going to get a 30-day money-back guarantee. Of course you are. And yes, you're getting Uber value. Maybe there's a couple of you that want this deal um, and you're thinking, oh gosh, you know what? My best friend wants threads as well. Why don't you go halvesies? You could go halvesies and then you're saving even more. I mean, that would be brilliant, wouldn't it, going halvesies? Now I'm going to give you... Come on, Cassandra. Have you got big arms? No, hang on, I'll put them on here. Entree. It's all right, put them on tray for you. Put them on tray. Don't worry, Cass. <laughs> now. I'd be good in... Co would I? No, I'd be terrible. I'd be like... You sounded like, you sounded like Phyllis Pierce. Yeah, what was it? Is she... Percy. <laughs> I used to do that when I was little. My mum used to say, do that thing you do. And I'd be like, I don't know what you're on about, mum. She'd be like, you better do it. And I'd be like, Percy, Percy. <laughs> now when your mum does, go on, darling, do that funny thing you do. And you're like, I don't know what you're on about, mum. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I do this one, I don't do the other one. Now. You sound like Abby Clancy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to give to you. What should, we, what should we do now, Laura? What should we do? Let's, let's, oh, I've got to do these. I love them so much. And you know, I grab these. We're talking about Christmas. Well, I'm talking about Christmas all the time. I am so excited about Christmas. I can't even begin to tell you how excited. I hope I don't get disappointed. Like I hope my whole earth doesn't mm. come crashing mm. down on me before Christmas. And I'm like, no, it won't, will it, Mark? Positive thinking. It's that day after Boxing Day, isn't it? When you think that's it, it's that big build up and it's... No, I don't mind that because you've got, um, you've got New Year's Eve then. Oh, I don't do New Year. In bed by nine o'clock normally. 
I'm going to sneak into your house and let fireworks off in your bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year, Mark! Wake mm. up! <laughs> I'm going to ring you we record at the midnight. Firework. We record the fireworks and watch it the following day. Well, just have your own. You can come to our firework party. Have a look. It might be a bit wild, though. There'll be children there for a start. Look at the green! So I'm super excited. I think this is the most excited I've been for Christmas in years, actually. Look. Look at these together. These peacock colours. Did you get the chain? I am not excited too early, Ryan. Laura's going, I hold it until bonfire night. <laughs> 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 Ryan holds it until the morning of Christmas. Ryan, you're such a bar humbug. You're going to be one of those dads. <laughs> uh, we'll open our presents after dinner. Forget you, Dad. I am up at 3 a.m. and I don't care what you say because Santa Claus has left me a sack. Now, <laughs> he is going to be one of them, isn't he? One present an hour. <laughs> I don't care if it's October. It's not, to, it's a day with, it's the best day of the year and you spend the whole day with your family. What could be more amazing than that? Hmm? Hmm? What have I got, Ryan? I've got Christmas green. I've got Christmas ivy green. These are gorgeous. I love them. Are you doing traditional Christmas? Are you doing uh, the reds, the golds and the greens? Or are you going to do something a little bit more modern? How would you make Christmas designs with this green bundle, Marky? Oh, they, you can, um, very similar to the beady bead, but yeah. you, can make, you can make star shapes <gasps> using wire. Stop. We could make stars hang from the tree. Yes. I love this idea. I love this idea. Let's have a star making show. Okay. What about red macrame cord with this? Yep. And some gold Oh goddess bracelet with the ad addition of gold jump rings yep. and a red cord. Yeah, you could do that. I like In could you make a, a macrame star. Christmas tie? Could do. I'd like to see this on you. Oh on me. Yeah, I want you to do macrame Christmas time. Okay. Now you have got, hang on, you have to have these. These should have gone in our Christmas show, Laura. Do you know what I would, can I be honest with you? Do you know what I would do? I'd put them on the bead loom. They look great next to each other like that. They look a little bit emeraldy, don't they, when you do? They're very elegant. Would you put them in a necklace? I would. Can I just show you? You could do like a three tier. I love green, wow. it's my favorite color in the world, amen. Don't you think it's fab, green? I love it, is it your favorite color, Ben, too? I like green. You do like green, it's up there, is it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, hang on a minute, stop everyone. Ryan likes something. Ryan likes green. Rejoice for Ryan, for Ryan is positive. <laughs> <laughs> He's got genuinely. I'm, I'm turning your microphone off. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Pull your skirt. <laughs> now you've got the perfect round for a beady bead. The perfect round for earrings. The perfect round just. Oh. Memory wire. Of course. They're mm. perfectly round. They're just gorgeous. Oh my word. CHGC03. So you're getting two strands. No, you're not. You're getting three strands. What am I talking about? A trio. The clue is in the title. The eight pounds and ninety-five pence. Oh my word! You have got to grab this deal. Well, you need them. They're a Christmas essential. Did you buy the reds we bought you at the weekend? Did you? Well, you need these to go with. Gorgeous.com. That's what you've got right here. Fantastic. Do you think I am getting overexcited, Ryan? I'm never going to burn out. My mum worried this at age four. I'm still here. Now. That's Ryan in my ear. No, oh, we've gone to talk in September even more. Do you know what you're like? Victor Meldrew. I don't believe it. There's Christmas things in the shops. That's exactly you, but young, which is even worse, Ryan. Now, 
If your boyfriend or husband is like Ryan, <laughs> then name and shame him. Have a look. Text in, 60777. Start your text with JM Studio, followed by Ryan is grumpy, followed by your message. <laughs> if he were one of the seven dwarves, he wouldn't be happy. Have a, have a look. Mark, these look like sunstone have been sliced in half to reveal the most incredible copper. Look at they are. Oh. Aren't they stunning? You love a rough cut gemstone, don't you? Yeah, I've got my craft table so people can see before and after. It's a really good way of showing them off. And I think it, it makes them realise, oh, genuine gemstones. Can yep, you say yep. genuine gemstones and people think, you know, sometimes we can be quite flippant with it because we're mm. so used to it. And people right. don't sort yeah. of absorb it and then they go, oh, 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 I see, actually real gemstones. Now, smoky quartz. Aren't these lovely earthy colours that you can wear any time of the year, which Ryan will be very happy about? Now, look at that. Gorgeous. What would you do with these, Marky? All together or individual? Um, I think all together, actually. I, I agree. Yeah, I think I'd graduate that. Um, although they're quite graduated already, aren't they? The, the rondelles on the smoky quartz. Oh, well, yes, they're already graduated yes, for you. And, and yes. the thing about this strand, which I'm sure you've actually pointed out to me, is that you get every tone of smoky in here. And yeah. I know you love... Mm. Was it your mum that loves smoky yeah. quartz? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, got a good memory, me. Look at that. So you get every tone of smoky in there. Jo this is one, one Joan would like, then. I adore sunstone. There is something magical even about the, the very name, Sunstone, Moonstone. You tell somebody what it is, they are intrigued, you've switched the light on, and they want to know more. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. BHG, C32, 800, 644, 655. Less than £3, £2.50 a strand. Less than 250 a strand. You've got sunstone in here. You are insane in the membrane. 995 is a great deal there. Uh, thanks to Laura Androglia, BHG C32. Right, 100, 6, 4, 4, 6, 4, 5 is that free phone number if you're dialing from a UK landline. If not, get yourself on the webby. It's jewelrymaker.com. Let's do a recap. Can I just look at these again? These birds are ridiculously amazing. And she's used smoky quartz in here. Have you seen these, Ben? Very nice. Very nice. Amazing detail. These are for the Christmas tree, aren't they? I want these exact ones, actually. What do you think? I want, I want um, Christmas decorations of all of our names on the tree in wire, will that work? Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Now, silver chain. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking we need to do a, a decoration show. What do you think? Yeah, good idea. With everybody. Well, I'll be here all day. Hannah Oxbury will be delighted to know I'm gonna bend her ear in a minute. <laughs> Gold lover. Have a look at this wonderful deal. 10 metres of silver on copper that is e-coated. Now, these are the larger links. We've given you three different styles of chain. Today, we have the larger. So if it's uh, a case of chain for charm bracelets, then these are for you. If you want those longer chain style pieces, if you want to group it up, maybe you're going to mix it with your gold chain, then these are for you. How many necklaces are you going to make out of 10 metres? Oh, loads, absolutely loads. What I, I would do, how, what's the normal length of a necklace? Well, it just depends what kind of type of necklace. About half a metre, is it? So just putting it like that is cute, isn't it? You know, it does make a different handbag chain. Could you use it for that? Like a, a, a clutch bag or something like that you could do. With your felt, if you were doing a felt clutch bag, I love it. Oh, I just, I'm mad about felt. Now, 
get needle felting. If you want something that's really easy that looks amazing, it's needle felts for you. Loads and loads of you on the phone lines for these. Perhaps your last chance to buy our larger links in comparison to the rest. If you've got an open basket, pop one in. If not, we've got loads of deals coming up for you at 5 o'clock tonight. So open a basket with this one. ATQ Z66, only 11 95 for genuine sterling silver on e-coated copper. A great deal for you. That's what you've got right now. £11.95. One or two ways, as always, uh, to shop on the phone lines on that free phone number that's on your screen right now if you're dialing from the UK on your landline or shop online. Now your gold chain, if you want to add that to your order, is at the bottom of the screen. Even though you've got the element of genuine nine carat gold on e-coated copper, you're paying the same price tag. Now, without further ado, whether he's ready or not, here I come. Are you all right? Are you, come, are you ready for me? Yeah. He's like, phew! He's just buzzing, busy and around, uh, trying to get... Now, hasn't today gone in a whip? Oh, no, it's quick, very quick, very quick. You're having, it's gone really quick. You all right there, sir? Yeah. yeah You've been yeah, yeah. very busy yeah. today, haven't you? It's been good fun. Oh. My. Word. Mark. Wow. Is the only word. Yes, it's I'm amazing. I'm really pleased with how that came out in the end. I'm really pleased. Oh. You can deserve that chocolate treat tonight. Have a look. Wow factor 10. Wow factor Thank 10 you. on my wow o meter. Look at that. So we're talking, talk me through this, Mark. Tell me, what it, how did you do it? What, well, what, what is this a, technique? In the, in the kit, you get 0.25 beading wire, which I've crocheted, and I've done five crochet stitches, added a bead, five stitches added a bead and I used the whole strand apart from the four that we used in the in the earrings there and okay. it was roughly about a meter of um, crochet chain wow. with the beads incorporated okay and all I've done is I've, I've, I've used four pieces of beading thread as the lazy threaded on the the black labrador right okay. and then used that crochet as the working strand it's just straightforward square stitch square knot in between the beads as though it were if you were using silk or something like that and then just um, added the chain at the top. No, it's, mate, I'm really pleased. Isn't it one? It is wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look at the beady bead necklace. I love it. And you've caged a gemstone inside. I've noticed. I've not seen that. I'm, I'm, I've got it in a kit that I'm doing tomorrow at Late Show, so I'm going to demo it on there if anyone wants to see it. Wow. It's so simple. Now you've also got a stretchy bracelet. This is so cute. Love the deep colours that mm. you've picked out I've taken here. away all, the, all of the, the blues and left all the, all the warm colours. So it's got plenty you've still got loads oh, yeah. left. Yeah, yeah. And I love these earrings too. Let me bring those over here to make Ben's life easier. You've got two pairs of earrings. The details for the kit, kit that we challenge Mark with are at the uh, bottom of your screen right now. It's £18.95, the code for which is FLGC58. Black Beauty is the name of the kit. Wonderful. Wonderful. Last chance uh, to, for me to give you uh, the update on the Zebra tools. They are very, very popular today if you want those. For 10.95, W, uh, here they are. Mark's been using them. Using, yep. uh, you get the whole toolkit, but these are the new additions to the smaller toolkit. So you get everything else as well. And they're 10.95 for the three plus everything else and the case which is great, the details are at the bottom of your screen. The suede deck cord, we have very limited quantities of. If you want the suede deck cord, please be as quick as you can. Uh, what was that crazy price? Something ridiculous. I want to say 12.95, but is that right? It was right, yeah, okay. But that seemed far too low, it was right. We've still got a few of those left, so please be quick. Uh, talk to me about uh, how you found the toolkit, Mark. Really good, and as, as I said, the, the cushion handles, I think anyone with, with dexterity problems is gonna find them really useful. So really, a definite really big nice tick, a definite, it's a yes from you, oh, is absolutely. it? Oh, absolutely, without a doubt. Uh, it's a definitely a yes from me. We should get them in other colour so you can colour coordinate your handles. That would be good fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, Oxbury's going to have fun with me and you this afternoon. <laughs> Oxbury! <laughs> now, Mark, when can I get involved in my next workshop with you? My next workshop, I believe, is two weeks Monday. And what I is it? It, it? It's basic macrame, so anyone new to macrame who wants to learn the basics 
we start off using hemp and beading thread in the morning and then we move on in the afternoon to satin and by the end of the day wire we actually hit wire in the afternoon so it's a really in busy between full day. feasting of course yeah, so it's a very busy full packed day and you, you take around average four or five pieces of jewelry at the end wow. of the day as well so that's that's a, it's lot. a full on day yes it's a full on day if you want to get involved are there spaces first of all two you, I believe. oh yes, there's only two yes. spaces on mark's course you've got to be quick and book yourself in now the gold chain I'm just going to bring to you because it is very limited and a couple of people have asked for it. I untangled all that. I know, Marky. I'm sorry, darling. No, you know how Lee feels, don't you? My long-suffering. <laughs> My long-suffering other half. <laughs> I can't help it. I just told you. I look at it and it gets a mess. I, literally, that does happen to me, Mark. I don't even need to really? make an effort. I know that if someone said to you, go into that room and mess it up, you'd probably move the pillow and feel guilty. I'd go to town. There'd be feathers everywhere, you know. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. So your chain, brand new today, despite the fact that it's got gold, we're gonna give it to you for the same price as the silver, just 11 pounds and 95 pence. AEQZ15 is your item code for that. So a fantastic deal. And you get 10 meters, literally go from one end of the room to the other. We were, did you see mm -hmm. Debbie Kershaw on Saturday Center out? She was out, she was. I mean, if you had the silver and the gold. You'd be in the car park. You would be in the yeah. <laughs> you would be in the cover. So if you want to grab Mark's last macrame spaces that are being confirmed, only two spaces left. We give you a buffet style lunch, of course. Uh, 0800 644 is the number to be calling to get yourself booked in on that. Now, at 5 o'clock this evening, me again, sorry, uh, we've got for you. It is me, sorry. We have got so many deals packed in for you. So stay tuned. We will see you live at five thank you so thank much you. mark thank you. Thank we'll you. see you later my darling jewelry makers don't forget to wall of fame our studio at jewelrymaker.com do you need a helping hand to get started with jewelry maker are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration then visit our jewelry maker website where you can find our video tutorials Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewellery making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewellery making techniques. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. And each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their Jewellery Maker account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jurymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moon's Moat, Redditch, B989HF. We all know you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have designed a kit to make sure you have all the essentials to join in with the fun. With round nose, flat nose and wire cutter pliers, as well as a reamer, tweezers and a bead scoop, you've got everything you need in one place for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. When you place your first order with us, you will receive a free booklet and DVD full of handy hints, tips and tutorials to help you get started with your new Jewellery Maker hobby. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewellery Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewellery Maker. There are two easy ways to purchase from Jewellery Maker. You can watch our show on Sky, Virgin, Freeview or Freesat and call our free phone number where you'll be put through to our friendly help team who can place your order. Alternatively, you can go to our website and click the sign up button. Once you have filled in the required details, you can start shopping. You can watch the show by clicking the on air now button on the front page. You can also use our quick search tool and narrow down your results. Once you have found an item that you like, 
you simply click on the buy now button and the item will be added to your basket. Don't forget that you can add as many items to your basket per day for only one PNP. Enjoy shopping with Jewelry Maker.